The Crinkle Boy, Scruffy Bard, and Aaron Owen. Thank you for your highest tier membership. Support the Nathan Napalm with Super Chats or by clicking join to become a member of Napalm on YouTube or by subbing or with B What is up, everyone? It's time for Retro Game Night. We haven't done this in a while, guys. We haven't done this in a while. It's been a little bit. And Steve, you're right. I do owe you one. I also owe Gulo Gulo one if he shows up tonight. Uh, I, I missed him last time as well. So uh, what game, Steve, I'll let you start it off. What game would you like me to play to kick this off with? Any NES, Atari 2600, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, 32X, Turbo Graphics, or Nintendo 64 game. I think I named them all. I mentioned Super Nintendo. I got that too. Hmm. And Sega Master System. Gunsmoke NES. All right. Coming up. Gunsmoke NES. Uh, let me find it. Did I play it on the NES? I don't know. I think I have. Let's see. Gunsmoke. Let's get down to the Gs. Let's grab this bar. Pull it down. We see them beautiful Gs. Here's the Fs. Ooh, DuckTales. Uh, whoops. Yeah. G comes after F. That's right. All right. Gunsmoke... Right here, so there it is, Gunsmoke. Here we go. Great music. I'm gonna have to fix that music. I think it's a little too loud. That just about blew my eardrums up. Maybe there. Maybe there. Is that a little better? Is that a little better? Bricksville, where the pioneers worked hard during the gold rush era. One day, a group of outlaws known as the Wing Wingets came into town, killed the sheriff, and took over the town. The Wingates raided the town every day and terrified the people in Hicksville. Hicksville? Then came a lone gunman in the windy afternoon with the sunset behind him to save the town, to save the people of Hicksville from the Wingates. Oh, we have played this. I played this actually on this channel. That's right. I have played this. This is a good game. There was something I figured out last time. There was something I figured out last time. What was it? All right, here we go. Let's see. Shoot that way, shoot that way. Okay. Something about continuing the level. Got to do something. This is good music. This is good music. Shotgun. Oh, you almost got me. Oh, oh, dynamite. Okay, get that money. I think that's how you progress the story, right? Or the levels, I mean, with the money, somehow. I like how they somehow it does feel like a Western song, you know? Even with the old bit tunes, the 8 bit. They pulled it off. Ooh, we got them boots. Is this how you beat the level? Okay, here we go. We are on your side. That's how you buy stuff. Um, machine gun, 10,000? Uh, we almost have enough for that. But not yet. How do, how do I say no? Let me, let me out. Okay, select. One imposter gets you the boss. Okay. Is that a drop? Because he'll just repeat. Oh, and wrap around. Right? Otherwise. Oh, oh. Oh my gosh, those guys. Oh boy, oh boy. Got herself in a hairy pickle there. Look. What's this guy? Go defeat the wingets. Bullets? Horse? Wow, you get a horse. A wanted 20,000. Okay, okay. Gotcha. Oh, boy. Oh, we're doing good. We're doing good. We got this. We got a super chat over there. Let me see what it is. What we got? Deep Fear and Resident Evil for Saturn. Uh. Whoa, whoa. Okay, all right. I think I have them both. 
I don't remember for sure, but I think I got them both on Saturn. I don't have a lot of Saturn options, but I think I have those two. I definitely have deep fear. If you want to blow up a guide so we don't get stuck like last time. I couldn't figure out where to go. On deep fear, I mean. I know my way around Resident Evil rope pretty well. Oh, I got stuck on the barrel. Okay, so we gotta find that guy. I don't know if I've seen it. It's not possible for me to do that while running this. Um, unfortunately, if I do that and I accidentally hit the wrong button or the wrong F key, um, it will pull up that game. If you know what I'm saying? Um, but don't worry. I'll get there. I'll get there. Thank you so much, Alexander. And thank you, Exodus NES, added to the queue. How do I, uh, so how do I get past this level? need to find that man. We've got 20,000, so we can afford the wanted poster now. We just gotta get to it. Okay, there's the lady. Okay, so we need the dude. He's on the right. Just make sure I don't miss him. We got this, boys. We're doing great. Ooh, ooh. Okay, should be coming up here on the right, right? Come on, don't die now. We're about to get the boss. There he is. There he is. There's our guy. Get out of the way, baddies. There we got it. Grand Ole Reaper! Whoa! $40 for Sora Sodan. We're gonna be doing a lot of Sora Sodan, it looks like. Thank you so much for the epic super chat, bro. Let me let me get some hearts on these guys before we hit up this boss. Big super chat! Big super chat! Big super chat! Wow, that was a big one. Wow, that was a big one. The Popeyes makes it. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, so, a lot of Sword of Sodan, it looks like. Looks like that's <laughs> going to be a big majority of the stream tonight. All right, Sword of Sodan. We played that back. My memory. When I go back and play it again, I bet you it'll come back to me. All right, let's let's uh, let's pick the wanted poster. Okay, I paid for it, right? I got it. Now what? Oh, oh, oh. I could have sworn these guys weren't here. Now, how do I use the wanted poster? Select. Maybe. Normal. Um, maybe start. No. Anybody know? Oh! Anybody know how I use the wanted poster now? Oh, dang it! Did I lose it? Did I lose it? You don't have to use it? Okay. Did, did I lose it, though? Do you know? I wonder if I lost it just now. From dying. Please tell me I don't have to get it again. Ooh, it's the old days. Okay, okay, so I just, he'll show up. This is as far as I got last time I played. I couldn't figure out how to get the boss. There you go. Oh, this must be where he comes. All right, sweet. Get that boss, boys. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Is that him? Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Dude, it's crazy, dude. So that's why you might want to update your uh, guns first. I'm getting them pretty good. I'm getting them pretty good, I feel like. Am I getting them when he ducks? Maybe I'm not. Oh! We're just barely out of his range. This is an intense game, dude. 
You need to jump in Discord with him and help him out? Wait, jump in it. Wait, what are we talking about? Oh, oh, you mean, yeah, he could jump in Discord and talk to me if he wants to. <laughs> yeah, if you feel like it, Steve, if you can. Uh, 12,000 bucks. Cutter. All right, then we're going to start moving through the list. Man, I love Nintendo music. It's so good, dude. It's so stinking good, bro. What does this little jumping do? Do you just touch him? What do you got? Maybe I still have a gun power enough to kill him? I'm not, I'm not sure. Can I squeeze between these? Oh crap, I got stuck. Oh, I thought I- Oh, oh no! I got out! I got out! And then I died. And then I died. <coughs> continue. Let's see what happens when you hit continue. Oh, sweet. It doesn't start you at the beginning. Nice. Alright, let's try one more time. Let's try one more time. Then we're moving on. Gula Gula, if you're there, I owe you a game. Just let me know what game. Any NES, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, 32X, Turbo Graphics, Nintendo 64, or a Sega Master System game that released in the U.S. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to repeat that throughout the show because I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure if he's here or not yet. But Gula Gula usually shows up at some point if he's not streaming or busy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let's see what this guy's got. We got shotgun, machine gun, magnum, magnum, or smart bomb. I I'm gonna hold. Mm, we got 3,000, so yeah, I'm holding off. How do I get out of here? There we go. Jump that dynamite. Okay, you don't touch him. Okay, confirmed. 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 You don't touch him. What's that? I wonder what that does. I wonder what those skulls are doing. Those are rare drops. Okay, here's the lady. Alright. Uh, wanted poster, 24,000. Heard that. Uh, we could buy a horse for f No, that's bullets. Let's go ahead and get that. I want to see what it does. Uh, or not. I have enough for it. I wonder why it won't let me. Maybe I don't need it? I'd like to get a horse. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, I got the guy. Okay, you can just shoot him. He just takes a few hits, that's all. Dang it, dude. One more little cowboy left. Alright, we gotta get in the zone. We gotta get in the zone. Uh, somebody's trying to call me on Discord. Hang on. Hang on, what's going on here? What's going on here? Oh, it's Steve. Alright, hold up. Oh, because I'm not on Discord. Alright. Oh, wait. He's not able to hear me. Hang on a second. Wrong Discord. Hang on. Give me one second, guys. Let me put my face cam here while I fix this. Hang on, Steve. I gotta get on the other computer's Discord where my mic is. One second, guys. One second. A little behind the scenes. One second. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah. All right, cool. All right, let me fix this. All right, we back. So it turns out... That you can find wanted posters and the horses in barrels. Oh, you don't have to buy them. That's just a guaranteed right. way to get them. 
Yeah, so if you shoot all the barrels, then you can spend your money on weapon upgrades. Nice, okay. That's pretty much the gist. <laughs> this is a good game. Yeah, I mean, it was that kind of game back in the day. There's an arcade version of it that's way cooler. Looking. Yeah, I remember the arcade one. I played it a lot. Did, um... You know, if it's an arcade, you could do two players. Yeah, 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 you could. You could do two player. That one's in that arcade that's local that we go to. And to be honest, from my memory, when I played it in the arcade, it looked about like this. It looked a little better, but, like, this is pretty accurate, I want to say. Yeah. I was thinking of that other cowboy game that's on Super Nintendo. Oh, what is that called? Gun something. Gun... That's a cool game, too. Wild guns, wild guns. Wild guns, that's it, yeah. Those bullets are so slow. <laughs> Woo. Dang it. Alright, well, at least we beat the first level. Last time we couldn't even figure out how to beat it. Alright, what's next in the queue here? We've got, uh, do, 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 Deep Fear and Resident Evil. Okay, uh, let's make sure I got those for Sega Saturn. Now, you can recommend Sega Saturn. I just don't have very many games for it. I just got a few. And sometimes they don't work. Um, Deep Fear's on here, my man. I don't think Resident Evil, I put it on here. I own that game on my real Saturn. Um, but I can't, I can't just switch over to a console live. Um... Deep Fear's on here, though. But please pull up the guide, because last time we just got stuck, because I couldn't remember what to do. Is this a survival horror game? Yeah, this was... Um, Sega paid this company to... Because they found out that, like, Capcom was going PlayStation exclusive for Resident Evil 2. So Sega was pissed about it, so they licensed this company to make a Resident Evil-type game just Sega exclusive. And that was Deep Fear. Oh, dude, you got Burning Rangers on there. Yeah, Burning Rangers is on here. That's a freaking classic. And dude, that Darius cool, game, man. dude, that Darius game is freaking incredible. Oh, yeah. Sort of so, Dan, is like Dragon's Dogma, in my opinion. Dude, I have been looking into Dragon's Dogma. You know, I didn't want to get too hyped because of Resident Evil 7, but now that I beat it, etc., I've been looking into it. Dude, that game looks way better than I thought. Like... No quest markers, like, just straight up they tell you, like, it's through the woods and you'll see a pond and there'll be a cabin on your... You know what I mean? Like, really out here exploring the world for real. Dude, it looks cool. I was watching about it the other day. You can make a character now. They have a demo. I went ahead and made my main character because, dude, the character creator is freaking good. It's really, oh, really cool. good. So that you can download as a demo and it will save it so that you can already have your characters made so you don't end up spending hours making your character. I'm going to stream it tomorrow. I'm going to make characters and just show how badass it is tomorrow on a stream. Cool. Now, guys, Deep Fear is a really good recommendation that Alex made because Everyone it has crappy waits. voice acting. Until instructions are given, <laughs> do not it's such make a good a game. Stop all We're going to watch this. I repeat, do not make a sound. This is not a drill. This is not a drill, guys. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> The chimpanzee! <laughs> Forgot about that! <laughs> Forgot about Dude, this, that! This is like overblood good. Dude, it's actually a good game too. You know what I mean? Oh, really? I've never, I never even heard of this for some reason. Yeah, it's because it was Sega Saturn exclusive, and even worse, it never came to the US. It only came to Europe. It's in English, but it never literally got released in the US. Oh, wow. Because they were like, in the U.S., Bernie Stoller was in charge. And I swear he was implanted by Sony, dude. I swear he was. Because he was the guy that was like, no, to Final Fantasy VII. He's the guy that was yeah. like, saying no to translated games that were doing really good in Japan. He ruined, this, he ruined the Sega Saturn. He ruined it. And then they fired his ass. And guess who he immediately got a job with the same day? Sony. And did a bang-up, badass job. He died recently, so I probably shouldn't be talking bad about him, but I don't care. Just because you're dead doesn't mean I have to show your respect. What a piece of crap. You screwed over my Sega Saturn, Bernie Solar. 
That's crazy. If they would have had Final Fantasy on there, Sega might still be making consoles today. Dude, I know. This is what screwed them over. The Sega Saturn and Bernie Stoller. Freaking what a jerk. You guys think Ponytail Man is bad? Bernie Stoller was way worse. He said no to Final Fantasy. What an idiot. Jeez. Dude, I know this has nothing to do with anything going on right now, but all these tribute videos and stuff for Akira Toriyama I'm seeing are like, they're they're getting me in the feels, dude. dude it's actually pretty, I bet so. much, pretty bummer. What a legend, dude. What a freaking legend. I know, man. What is this? The the year that all the the OG gamer gaming developers are gonna die? What's up? You know, the last couple of weeks we've lost two of the greats, man. I know. All right, here's that opening cutscene, dude. Dude, look at look how glorious that looks, dude. Dude, is that a cinema scene? Yeah. I'm gonna see what it looks like on the stream. Whoops. Did I break it? It looks like a like I'm watching like a 240p video. It is. That's pretty much what it is. That's what it looks like. That's exactly what it is. Now, obviously, these look better on a CRT. I've got a filter on to try to stim simulate it, but like I've got this game on my Sega Saturn. It looks these these cutscenes actually look good on a real CRT. Well, I mean. They look like a PlayStation on a CRT. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You just can't replicate that feel of a CRT with the old consoles. You can't do it. You actually have it on. You can get close, but you can't do it. Can't replicate it. Something about that glow behind the screen is just different. Too. Agreed. They're tr they've got a couple of filters that are trying to help with that, but dude, they just can't. It's all replication. It's not the real technology. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I love his music, dude. Dude, the helicopters are so cool. Alright. I don't remember what's happening. They just sent a capsule down into the ocean, looks like. Dude, that's a hell diver in there, I think. <laughs> For democracy. <laughs> yes, us humans are getting old. Must protect <laughs> Miyazaki at all costs, yes. Yeah, I know, jeez. This is 80s, early 90s freaking drum hits. This is how you knew something epic was happening, you know? You didn't need to see it. You just heard this music, it's like, oh, this is a big deal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this takes place underwater, by the way. It's like in some kind of station, some kind of military station underground. I mean, underwater. It's like kind of like Bioshock. Yeah. It'd be funny so if pretty. Bioshock was like, we were, our game was completely inspired by Deep Fear. Little <laughs> <laughs> well, submarines. There it is. There is the, the government station. Wow, look at it. Some people do haunted mansions. Some people do underwater government facilities. All right, now for the, some sweet voice acting, I hope. There's our main character. He has a family, apparently. That's... The... Oh, yeah, this was oh, okay. top-notch for his time. Yeah, agreed. Dude, it's Matt Damon. <laughs> dude, when they release the movie of this, hopefully they get Matt Damon to play this guy. It's going to be Matt Damon, dude. That is definitely <laughs> a Matt Damon. You don't have to yell, Mookie. I can hear you just fine. It's an emergency. <laughs> Sharon's drowning in the e pool. Come quickly. I'm right above you. I'll be right there. Hurry, Chief. I'll be right there. Why? I wonder why they felt like they had to talk like that back then. I know. It's weird. It is weird. I mean, like, they were like, okay, do the voice at the usual lines. He's like, I'll be right there. Jill, don't open that door. Why couldn't Dude, they just say what it? Was that? Like for normal. That one game on the Dreamcast. Both of us. Had oh, I know. I already know. Blue Stinger, dude. I already know. I can yeah, read your mind. I can read your mind. I knew that's what it you were gonna think. Hilarious voice, dude. Actually. It did. That actually, in retrospect, dude, I went back and played that recently. It's actually a decent game. 
we kind of made fun of it back then. We we played a lot. It, 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 but in my memory, I filed it away as a piece of trash for some reason. I played it recently. I was like, no, this actually is a good game. Blue Stinger was that pretty good. That one guy with the yellow yeah, what, the beard. He was basically like a... Uh, like a. Was his name just like Dogs or something? Dogs! That was his name. All right, we got to figure out where to go. <laughs> so oh, got, yeah. He's got the good, good old tank control. Kind of survival horror, Me too, honestly. man. I do too. It's the boys' room. The door's locked. Does anybody pull up a guide? Please, for the love of God. I know where I gotta go gonna right do now. Women's room. Do women's. <laughs> no admittance without permission. I know we gotta go. I think it's down like a little elevator or something for this first part. Let's see what's Deep in here. Fear. I'll look up a guide to it. Yeah, that way we can at least maybe get somewhere. Last time I just spent like 30 minutes being lost. Let's see here. I'd like to play it for a hot <laughs> minute. He did He did pay $5 to see this since we don't have Resident Evil. Oh, I got to dust off the the, the walkthrough, even though it's a digital. Uh, it's so old. <laughs> so it's gonna dust they haven't it. used it in so long. How to freeze and preserve humans. So in 1974, the British Interplanetary Society announced Project Daedalus. This was a design study for sending a probe past Barnard Star, which is about 5.9 light years away in the constellation of Ophiuchus. In this project, a 54,500-ton spacecraft with huge pulsed microfusion rockets set out on its 43-year trip to Bernard's star. Its cruising speed will reach 13% the speed of light after its fourth year away from our solar system. Nearly half a century is a long way to travel, especially for humans. Not only are food and maintenance important, the biggest problem is age. If a 20-year-old astronaut were to go up, he would be 70 by the time he reaches his destination. There's no guarantee he will live that long. In order to artificially control a living organism's life, researchers are studying cold sleep. This is a means of freezing and preserving life. Originally, this method was thought of for humans who have died so they may be resurrected in the future. But in present times, we don't give a shit about that. There is simply a fairy tale for now. There have been reports of success in resurrecting life, though. In 1986, an American scientist was able to bring his pet dog's body temperature down to 10 degrees Celsius, stopping the dog's heart and brain. This is actually true. Bringing the dog to a dead state. After seven hours, he then brought the dog back to life by giving it an electric shock. Similar types of experiments have been succeeded on chimpanzees as well. There's a chimpanzee in this story. However, the maximum time limit for these experiments was seven hours. This experiment... Dude, you read like a book. Yeah, this is long. This experiment did show the possibility of cold sleep, but when it comes to a matter of decades and not hours, further studies will be needed. Atomic biology professor Steve W. O'Brien. And he is uh -oh. the... He is actually the... Um, how would you say that? The uh, successor, the down-the-line generation to Conan O'Brien. It is him. Yeah. It's his family lineage. All right, I think that's all there is in here. Dude, oh, the, the walkthrough is crazy. What does it say? It says, it, well, it says the first thing you were supposed to do is you start out in the ERS room. Uh -huh. And if you examine a medical kit, you'll obtain first aid kits. Did you find those? I got those. Okay. Then it says there's an infinite amount of those in those boxes. It seemed only like carry it. Up to eight sprays. Oh, okay. I got at least two. I think. I thought then it kept it giving go, them to me. From there, you're supposed to go down the ladder to your room to the E pool. Oh, in my room there was a ladder. Yeah, apparently. Oh, oh. Let me go back now. I, don't, I didn't remember that. I thought you had to run way down the hallway somewhere. You're, you're, you're trying to find some guy named Mookie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember him. Okay, I think this is it. Yeah, this is the ERS room. So I guess there must be ladder in, a ladder in there somewhere? Well, this isn't technically my room. Did it say in my room? Or in, in the this room? room? That you oh, okay, okay, okay. The okay. ERS okay. Room. okay, yeah, I guess there is a ladder. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. All right, I guess, I guess it's a little. Oops. Oh, I see it now. Oh my gosh, I keep canceling. There we go. Uh, I've been playing too much Final Fantasy and PlayStation games. I keep pressing the bottom button for accept, and that is cancel. Chief! Oh, yeah. Chief! 
I still haven't beat it yet. Chief! We beat it on stream today, man. It's good. No spoilers, I chat. Out of, out of the gold saucer. Chief! Where are you at? He's like, Chief! <laughs> dude, Mookie's in there, dude, somewhere. Here he is. Chief! Chief! And the unconscious Sh Sharon, or whatever her name is. Sharon. What? What's unconscious going on? Sharon. April Fools. April Fool. They tricked us, dude. Did she went unconscious. April Fools Day? You, you oh know, my gosh. Time for these fun and games. Sorry, Chief. The mood around the big table have been kind of stuffy lately. So, I had to play a Well, those barrels crazy. behind them has what air grenades mean? in them. Stuffy. <laughs> you were just transferred nice. here a week ago. So, you may not have noticed, but it's been especially stuffy lately. The army people have been really uptight. <laughs> That's full setting, dude. Releasing Navy area arm. <laughs> They've been really uptight. <laughs> Roger. Sea Fox automatic pilot system. Off. Like, was there like a creative director behind the scenes? Like, that's perfect. That's how we, I want you to do the voice. I bet you in Japan it had yeah, good I voice guess. acting, and then they just didn't Only give a crap. Real mermaids. I bet. That's yeah, my maybe, guess. I guess so. Yeah. Maybe. I I'm, have to find the, I'm pretty sure if you look up the history of Resident Evil's voice acting, they just, the Japanese team just hired anybody that spoke English. You might, I might be wrong. Look into it. But that's what I remember reading at some point. For some reason, I thought. I'm, I probably am wrong. I'm gonna look it up. I thought for some reason that Resident Evil weirdly was made in English. You might be right. That feels right, too. Yeah. I think you are right about that. That doesn't mean they still didn't hire ever but anybody they wanted to for the yeah, actors. Yeah, all, all the Resident Evil games are made in English, and the Japanese ones just has Japanese subtitles. It just crashed. That's crazy. In the, in the Little Shark? The, sh the submarine? Yeah, I think so. You crashed it? Attention, please. Somebody did. John Mayer, immediately report to the Is that me? My John Mayer? According to the walkthrough, that was not supposed to happen. Would ERS Chief, I think we need you. That was an emergency call. I wonder what happened. I'd better go. <laughs> oh, he's coughing all over him. Hey, Chief, you got a cold? <laughs> you could say that. John, <laughs> that cough. take care of yourself. Thanks. Look how huge his fist is. <laughs> I know. I love it. It's like almost the size of his head. <laughs> you said there was a secret. John, don't press yourself too hard. Don't you need to hurry to the deck? Bro, chill out. Jeez. Hey. Well, let him get his stuff. I can't. Maybe I gotta wait to do the barrels when he ain't standing here. Hmm. All right, well. I couldn't get That's anything. weird. It's acting like you should be able to get them. Okay, so go well, back up the ladder. There, if you go inside the mini sub, you can get an, an aid kit. What? But if you ride don't the go little in the mini shark. sub, then you're supposed to go back up the ladder. Okay, I went in the mini sub. I guess all that's in there is a first aid kit. Is that it right there? Oh, that's the ladder I came down. Is it that thing laying on the seat? Oh, yeah, I bet you that is it. Sweet. All right, we got the emergency kit. This that's is all that there is. In this here. is perfect for Steve to be here. Now we can actually see the game. A little bit. Not now just you gotta go up a around. ladder. A different ladder, I'm assuming. There's a different one here. No, you have to go back. Oh. Up the same ladder you oh. came. Oh, okay, okay. The whole purpose to go down there was to hang out with Mookie. Oh, that is the same ladder. Alright, here we go. I can't believe it didn't let you get the air grenades. Yeah, that's weird. I'll try again when I go back down there. I'm pretty sure you go back down here in just a minute if I remember right. I've actually made it really far in this game one time. Because I have this In, in game. the passageways now, once you get out of this room, in the passageways, you're looking for a control deck that's indicated by a door that is outlined with red and white stripes. Nice. Okay. If, if you go inside of it, you can talk to, to Commander Clancy. And he's going to give you a key to the Navy area. Oh, red and white, red and white. Okay, the uh, control deck. Yep, this is it. Hope this isn't a voice to the Titanic. 
<laughs> That'd be alert. The, the sub implodes <laughs> and the, you get a credit roll. <laughs> <laughs> it's the twist. Like it's a serious the situation. It was a prediction. What's the problem? A while ago, the Simpsons like one of those Simpsons was just things. getting ready to depart, crashed into the Navy area. Oh my gosh, look at this cutting state-of-the-art cutscene. We don't know yet. <laughs> I asked Dubois, the designer, to come too. <laughs> Dude, I'm pretty sure that that is Palmer <laughs> from Final Fantasy VII. Naxton should have cut! <laughs> we can't get through on the wireless to either the Sea Fox or the Navy area. We have no idea what's going that on. That guy's right one second. This is terrible. <laughs> My masterpiece is ruined. Oh, what am I going to do? The rescue force has been contacted, but they can't make it for a while. This is like a South Park character. To go in? The Navy area is top secret <laughs> and out of your jurisdiction. We don't have a choice. I want the ERS to go check it out in the little shark. <laughs> We're ready to leave any time. Dubois, the Navy area. Please say something there. else. Navy area has an emergency pool which you can come out of. First, <laughs> behind Dr. Weisberg. This is the top priority. Next, move the Navy uh. area and connect it to the big table. That'll be all. Copy. Fine. I'll give this to you. Oh, Navy oh. area level one. <laughs> That's hilarious. Ready, right away. Oh! Oh! The best. submarine! There are civilians here. We don't want to start a panic. Understood. Oh, man, that's hilarious. <laughs> Dude! Oh! They so obviously, like, just had a, the same guy. You know? Be like, we need another voice. And he's like, I could talk like this. Oh, it's me! No, that's, that's perfect. <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. This actually is a good game, though, guys. I'm laughing at it because it is funny, but this actually is a good game. It's like Resident Evil 1. It had horrible voice acting, but it was a good game. Oh. <laughs> anyway, where are we supposed to be going? Because I wasn't even paying attention. I couldn't stop laughing. Oh, that guy's supposed to have given you a key. Okay. To the Navy area. Now you're going to the Navy area. It says you have to go back to the RS room, go back down the ladder, and to the E pool to meet up. No, no. Yeah, to meet up with Mookie again. You have to go back to Mookie. Back to Mookie. Okay. I think I came from this way. You know, it's so funny that this guy's name is Mookie, right? Okay. Because one of the people that works for me is, like, boyfriend's name is Mookie, and I'm always like, the guy's name is so lame. Maybe this is, maybe he, maybe he is like this guy, dude, turns out, you know, dude, his parents were a huge fan. This game. Dude, this game's old enough that his parents could have been a fan of it and been like, yeah, what's the name Mookie? He's, like, not our age. He's, like, a younger guy. Right. That would be hilarious. You should ask him. Would you like to, <laughs> your parents just happen to play a game called Deep Fear. You should ask him. You should ask him. Or if you like meet somebody named Dogs. <laughs> oh, whoa, he's moved. He's not where he was. Okay, now maybe I can get the whatever it was. Yep, air grenade, got it. Oh, sweet. Oh, there's Mookie. Oh, a freaking cutscene, dude. Oh. I was worried that you were mad. I'm not mad. More importantly, Mookie, how's the little shark? Best condition. Like the Yankees in 96. Why? What's up? Oh my gosh. An accident in the Navy area. We're the first to go in. You mean we get to go in and check out the Navy secret weapons with our own eyes? Hey, this is no joke, Moogie. You've got an important. <laughs> you know what's crazy is the guy looks kind of like later. him. Dude. Like, Weird. I'm not even kidding. Yes, Weird. Sir. You should show him this game. <laughs> like, what do you think about this? I bet like... he would be. I bet it would freak him out. I bet it would. All right, we're going out on the little shark now. We're going to the other, to the other facility. You've entered the submersible. Yes, we're going up into the other facility now. Dude, even that, the one in this game looks higher quality than the, the one from real life. It looks higher quality than what? The, the one from the real life sub submarine okay, story. Lucky. Let's slide on into home. <laughs> yeah, this one. Wasn't controlled with a uh, a generic PlayStation controller, at least. Yeah, this one you controlled it with an actual Sega Where's Saturn key, controller. <laughs> you mean this? Dude, did that guy's look on his face just that. Thanks. I'll go first. Can't wait to get a look 
at the top secret weapon. <laughs> he like snatched it out of your hands. <laughs> Can't wait to get a look at the top secret weapon. All right. <laughs> So, you, well, are you on a timer right now? Yeah, I think we ran out of air or something. Oh gosh, oh it's a really gosh. short timer. Oh my gosh. Dude, the why oxygen circulation. When you went in there. Activate the AS or else it's going to be tough. How do we do that? Did you press the AS? Uh, no. Okay, here we go. Air system. I remember okay, that's a big hurry. part of the game sometimes is you'll it'll be even scarier because you'll be fighting stuff and you'll be run out of time like now we got 62 seconds dude this is crazy this part's not even in the walkthrough a what <laughs> yeah this made it out like that now you're just supposed to go and maybe it's just really easy maybe that was it what I just did you're slow, Chief. Oh, did it? That, yeah, this, you that's, that you're at the part in the walkthrough, the next part now. Going up. I think you're about to see Du Bois. Like, it's kind of crazy, like, these cutscenes for the time were good. And there's a lot of them. You know what I mean? Like, it seems unnecessary. Oh, yeah. Come on, Du Bois, show your face. Uh-oh. Here, something's gone, gone He's down. Hurt. Dang, dude, Du Bois you got okay? messed up. <laughs> Kill. Kill me, please. Oh, my what? gosh. You can't say that on Kill YouTube, dude. Me. Oh, crap. Please. <laughs> what did he say? I actually can't hear what they're saying. Do I need to turn the volume up? Is it too low? No, it's because I'm on. It's oh. because, the, because we're on Discord, so it like echoes. He's saying, "Uh, kill me, kill me, please." And then now he's turning. What's this? Oh, okay. he kind of looks like if a human, if one of those ventriloquist puppets turned into a human. <laughs> oh gosh, a skeleton foot ripped out of his shoe. <laughs> I like how he's creeping away. Ah! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look, he's like, I'm out of here. I don't even know how to fight. I don't know if I have a weapon. I don't think I do. Does it say I gotta kill this guy or just run away? Are you supposed to fight him? Oh, I got a Glock. Okay. I don't know how to use it, though. That's the bad part. Do I need to equip it? Nothing or? happened, right? Do you actually have to fight him? Oh, Does yeah. Oh, yeah. Say it. That's uh, funny, dude. That's the part's not in the walkthrough. Uh, 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 okay. How do I quit my gun? It's crazy. It doesn't even mention that you have to do a fight in the walkthrough at this part. Dude, that walkthrough... Okay, maybe I got a weapon. This walkthrough sucks. Okay, I do have that equipped. Okay, I gotta figure <laughs> out how to aim and shoot now. Dude, it's, it's after that cutscene. You just, oh, like, I just, just did go, something. On, go on to the CDC area. Well, I just threw some kind of mist at him. There we go. I got it out. I figured out how to get my gun out. I'm gonna assume that the action button is shoot. Yep. Oh got him. God. I got. Oh no, he ain't dead yet. Got your gun, bro. Take that, oh my gosh. boys. Oh, I think I got him. I think I got him. Oh, I like how he keeps his gun out. You can run with your gun, dude. Oh, cool. That's actually pretty impressive for this time period. Yeah, because Resident Evil was, you know, you had to stop and shoot. Oh, That's this is cool. really I cool. I feel like actually. back in the day, I would have been like, whoa, this is even cooler than Resident Evil. Yeah, I would... Oh, gosh, I keep throwing down whatever that is. I would have been excited about being able to run and gun. I would have, too. I've got to figure out how to put it up. Okay, you just press the same button again. Dude, this walkthrough sucks. This says you're supposed to keep going down the hall to the CCD area. I wanted to check on Mookie. I'm pretty sure he ran this way. He did. He ran away. There he is. Let's go back, Chief. This is bad. We haven't finished our mission. We have to save the doctor. Please, no. Please you don't. saw how that guy turned into a monster. I know. That was strange. That was strange. Yes, this is Mayor. This is Clancy. What's the situation over there? 
Besides the air system being down, there seems to it be no major damage. It was some kind of damage. monster. Also, one of the survivors turned into a monster. A monster? What are you talking about? Anyway, save the doctor, anyway. and hurry up and start the Navy area docking operation. Seals are on their way. What a game. We'll leave the final solution up to them. They'll run out. You heard the man. Let's go. Mookie, pilot me around the Navy area. Wait. I have to Google search that blue okay, stinger I'll game real quick so I can remember it. exactly what but it looks like. on the condition that you give me my vacation one week earlier. What? He wants vacation I'll you time. around the Navy area wherever you want. Okay. I'll see to it you get topside earlier. All right. I got to get out of here. This place gives me the creeps. All right. So wh <laughs> what do I got to do here? You said, it said just to continue down the hallway? <laughs> Dude, it said after the cutscene that you saw with the boys, keep going and go to the CCD area. Okay. <laughs> Which? Whatever that means. Doesn't make sense. Or what happened? Maybe it's the only way to go, and they just maybe I think that's what they're just assuming. Like, okay, kill that guy. I'm not even gonna tell you that. No, I'm not <laughs> even gonna tell you that there's a fight. CCD. Isn't that back where we were? Uh. Whoa! More monsters. Bro, oh, really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Plus, I'm limited time also. Oh, one second! Oh, yeah. oh I'm gonna die. Oh, get out of there. Get out of there. One second? I have one second. <laughs> oh my god. So I just ran back, through, back in here where I've got two seconds. <laughs> Then it says follow the hall to the well, elevator I'm dead. and go up it. Oh, dang it. I was hoping that was some kind of error. Maybe this is an air system. Hurry, go, go, go. Air system, yes. Woo! Woo! Barely. Oh my gosh. That's All right. crazy. I'm going to save the game here. Oh, 99 now. At least. All right, I'm gonna go a little bit longer because he did do five bucks. We gotta give him a little more time. Okay, let's see if we can take out these guys. I, I don't know if I got unlimited bullets. No, I see it down there. I've got 72, I hope. It might be 12. Okay, that one's down. Oh, yeah. I do like that you can run and gun. I can't see where that guy's at, though. Oh, Dude, I got a bad feeling it's 12, not 72. Yeah. No, 69! Really? Dang, that gave you a lot. Okay, I don't even need to kill that guy, I don't think. I don't think we're in the right place. Oh my gosh, I did it again! That refills my timer. Oh, put up the gun! Not used to oh my gosh, put up the gun! I'm keep pressing on the button. <laughs> the mist. It gives you more time, though. Yeah, I guess it replant. It's like an oxygen thing. Yeah. We go in there. An oxygen bed. Control room. Where are we supposed to be going? It, uh, <laughs> oh, there he is. I know that wherever you're supposed to be going down oh, here, yeah. you're supposed to follow a hall to an Here's elevator and go up the elevator. So, will it move? Have faith. I'll let you know when it's ready. You still remember that one week deal, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, he gave me the card. The, I got the level one Navy key back. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing in here. Is that the control room? Yeah, that was the control room. Okay, it says... Ooh. Where was that? Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, it says you're to reunite with Mookie. Yep, I did that. And then... Examine a random... No. Oh my gosh, the camera. Now you're supposed to be going to a door that leads to the junction room to the Sea Fox. What the heck? Oh. It says when you leave the control room, exit and run down the hall past the elevator and enter the door. Then it says kill the creatures and head for the other door that leads to the junction room to the Sea Fox. I hear a uh, hear a chimpanzee behind that door. 
Really? Yeah. All right, so um, it said to leave that room and do what now? When you leave the control room, uh huh. Uh, run down the hall past the elevator and enter the door. Kill the creatures and head for the other door that leads to the junction room to the Sea Fox. Okay. And then it says, this, dude, this is weird, dude. Then it says exit and We're go back. to the other side of the decompression tank and pick up the grenades on the floor, blah, blah, blah. And then use the navy key on the door and enter it where a long cutscene starts. Oh, let's at least get to that part. All right, so for now, I'm assuming I'm going the right way now. So we're going back down the hallway. Here, baddies. And the Navy, which, what area am I going to right now? What's it called? A, a room that has a decompression tank in it. Uh, this is go to second be floor. Pretty close to the control room, I guess. I'm confused. Yeah, dude, it's confusing. Oh, go around them. I've got 38 seconds. Okay, this is the only other... Oh my gosh, put the gun up. Uh, this is the only other room I haven't been in. Or that... I think this is where I came from. Storage. What's the name of the room I'm going to? Does it say the name of it? No, it just says it's outside of the control room. I think... I think maybe I already did that. Oh, I got bullets back. <clears throat> I gotta find somewhere to... You already did it. Well, if you already did it, then you should have experienced a long cutscene. Well, I know where that's at, but I, it said I needed the key, even though I actually do have the key. Maybe I had to go to. Do you have and the navy use. key? Yeah, I have the navy something key. Yeah. Okay. Time to run around these that's guys. That's supposed to open the door that's behind on the other side of the compression tank outside of the control room. Okay. Okay, I got you. I think. Okay, so this way, and actually, let me see if I can hit that. Comp oh no, I got 96 seconds. I'm good. Okay, so there's where I talked to Mookie, and then killed that guy here. Oh, so go down, I guess. There. This door is locked. Level one tank. navy key. But, look, level one Navy key. I have it. Maybe I've got to select and use. Yeah, there you go. You yeah, use it. Heck? Okay, there we go. That's it. It oh. just doesn't do it automatically. It's where you got to say, like, here it is. Here's that long cutscene. Let's at least see this, then we'll save it. This is going to be good, I bet. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> a beautiful woman. Look, he fell in love Stella. with her. Oh, he knows her. <laughs> Can't be. Oh, shoot. Gina Weisberg, am I? Head researcher? Guess it wasn't hey, Stella. <laughs> can you hear me? <laughs> it's gonna be little weird. Gina Weisberg. It's weird Dr. that he... Weisberg. I'm John Mayer of the he, ERS. He misidentified her at first. That's kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> just tell her? Oh, no. This is just Gina. I don't know her. I just got a confirmation <laughs> from my Mookie, is it going to move? No sweat. I was Look at that cell phone. <laughs> Get a move on. We'll be back at the big table soon. Dude, the way how she got up was crazy looking. <laughs> That's the, there it is, dude. It's the chimp. <laughs> is that like a main character in the game? Who? The chimp? The chimp. Yeah, yeah, it is. Interesting. Until Michael Jackson comes and gets it, because it actually belongs to him. <laughs> Who's just storing it down at this secret base? 
It turns out he owns the base. Oh, thank you for noticing, Scruffy. It's my favorite mullet. It is fancy. There they go. The control room. Oh, sweet. It's Mookie. Oh, oh. That's oh. Him. Your boyfriend? Your boyfriend. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Danny, she's pissed. <laughs> we have to shut off this area. What is this time? Another mermaid. It's true. I saw it. Boom. It was terrible. I'm sick of your horror stories. I'm not lying, right, Chief? He said it was a mermaid. Danny, maybe you should seal off the area. Well, I took care of the monster. Maybe you caught precious psychosis. That's Dr. Weisberg. I'll go to Commander Clancy's room. <laughs> that voice actor like stuttered a little bit. She's like, I'll go to <laughs> Commander's Not room. Friendly, huh? But she's beautiful. Dude, you should add Game Boy to the mix. Oh, I will. No return, little shark, before the it. area is shut off. What? I told you there's a monster down there. Didn't you say you just took care of it? Okay. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go with you partway. Don't be scared, kid. Don't call this me really kid. is a long cutscene for back in the day. Yeah, dude. This took up a lot of space to put this in here. It's kind of funny back then we would be watching a cutscene like that during that time period. Like we were watching like an Oscar winning performance. <laughs> yeah, we really kind of would. Like, like we'd dang. give it the same devotion. Yeah. All right, let's find somewhere to save. Because after this, if you if you if you were technically to keep playing this game, once you get through the next little area, then you get to the first boss. Oh, the sea farm but it looks area. Like it would, might take a little bit. Every time somebody requests this game, just load the save and start the next chapter. That's what I try to do. It gets a little confusing sometimes because I haven't played the game so long. I'm like, okay, I have no idea what I was doing. Okay, let's find this. Uh, we just got to find those air pressure things and we can save. Oh, what's this guy doing? The sea farm. Oh, it's like a little repairman. There's something wrong with this elevator, you know. We better hurry and fix this <laughs> thing. The way <laughs> the way how he's touching it and saying that is hilarious. <laughs> Otherwise, Danny will be after us for sure. He's like patting it. That's some real good, real good work he's doing there. Look at him. He's just like. <laughs> Imagine you're like a technician and you go to a broken elevator and you just touch it. Like. <laughs> you're like, yep, there's definitely something wrong with this one. <laughs> you just continue to do that same motion for like an hour. Until it's time to go home. Like, well, shift's over. It's Sharon's room. The door is, un is locked. Is that <laughs> one of those things right there? Nope. We need to start a business where people call us when something's broken. We come and check it, and if it's actually broken, then we call somebody to come fix it. <laughs> yeah, we just confirmed that it's broken. Kind of like that ghost game where you don't actually get a w rid of the ghost. You just identify what the ghost is. Then you leave. <laughs> See what's in this door. The breeding pool. Oh, God. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez, man. This is where they breed the dolphins. I hear them actually under their breeding. It's dolphins? You can hear them? Well, I can hear like... Bleh, 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 bleh. Something's breeding Dang. down there. Something's at work. They must be really going at it down there. <laughs> All right, so we'll go back. Wasn't through here. C farm area B1. Back to the docking area. You're supposed to be in the docking area. Okay. And then you're supposed to... Let me see what your actions are supposed to do. Thanks. 
looks at the room. Enter a red door. Oh, one I... with arrows in number four on the wall. Okay, I don't know if it's a number four passageway. So no, way. But the one... Okay, so enter a red door. The one with the arrows in number four on the wall is pointing to... Okay, then what does it say, dude? I think that might be where I went. Then after that, it says run down a hall and go up the elevator, and you'll encounter Du Bois for a brief cutscene. Okay, or here's the elevator. Happen? Nope. This is the elevator, so this okay. must be it. Okay. We'll find a save point somewhere along the way. Then it's just like, keep going and go to the CCD area. Oh, please be that one guy. What's the matter, Dubois? John, it's a facility check. I have the strange feeling. Oh, no, it's like Christopher Walken. I have the strange feeling. That doesn't sound too good. Oh, definitely. <laughs> it's from the air unit area. It's howling at the top of its lungs. I wonder if it's wearing down. Can it be fixed? Oh, uh, not right away. Oh, uh, by the way, Commander Clancy was looking for you. Okay. It was howling. <laughs> <laughs> Do I feel like nobody that works on this ship actually knows what they're doing? Yeah, it seems like a base full of, full of crap, like they, they have no idea what their job even is. Oh, dude, look at that little scene there. It's a bloody hand. That's high tech. Oh, he just activated all the missiles. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Well, that's... I'm gonna guess not good. Yeah, that's probably bad. Okay, continue down the hallway. And then and go to the CCD area again, wherever that was at. Okay, that's the room. And then when you go in there, you have to follow the hall to the elevator and go up another elevator. Okay, then after you get this. out of the elevator, you gotta go to Clancy's room. Okay, I'm on the elevator, going to the second floor. Yeah, and now you're going to have to go to Clancy's room, which is the door closest to you. Okay, alright, perfect. And Clancy will be in there, he's going to give you a cutscene that advances the plot, it does... Oh! It does <laughs> must be this, must be Clancy's room. Yep, Clancy's room. All right, here comes a scene. Dr. Weisberg, I think you should rest a bit in the infirmary. Yes, but there's something I want to check on, so I'm going back to my room in the MI area. Thanks for everything, Mr. Mayor. John's fine. Excuse me. Thanks for going, Mayor. I heard everything from Dr. Weisberg. A human being turning into a creature? What's going on in the Navy area? What goes on in there is top secret. Top I'm afraid secret. I can't answer your questions, but I will say this. The Navy has nothing to do with the creatures. But, but... Anyway, a SEAL team has been called in for the rescue. Until they arrive, the Navy area will be sealed off. We got a SEAL team on the way. This is Clancy. Dang. What? Okay. This is serious business. I'll be right there. The sea it's really advancing the plot, situation. Yeah. Mayor, you come to the deck, too. Okay. What next? What next? All right. After that cutscene. Now you gotta exit the room and go down the hall to the control deck for another cutscene. Okay. Which one's the control deck? Let me see what this is. Conference room. This is not the right one. Right one. Let me just take a little look around real quick. Definitely looks like a conference room. Yeah. There's even a little CRT in the corner there. I know. I'm jealous. I want that CRT. <laughs> Looks like a fairly large one. Maybe this is it. 
control deck, right? Is that where I'm going? Yeah. Okay. For well, another cutscene. We should be getting a cutscene in here, I guess. Oh, here it goes. The Sea Fox missile hatch is open. Either there was a malfunction, or someone <laughs> opened it from the inside. Oh man! I can hear water in that the Sea Fox's torpedo room. That guy is looking. A torpedo will be launched in less than ten seconds. A torpedo. A sonar tracking device. <laughs> I like that dramatic zoom. Everyone effect. on base, <laughs> until instructions are given, do not make a sound. Stop all construction work. I repeat, do not make a sound. <laughs> this is not a drill. I want Du Bois to be here so he can be like, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part of the game. What's that sound? It's the air unit area. Oh my god. <gasps> yeah, I've got a bad feeling about this. Wow. Oh, the, the epic music, and there goes the torpedo. It's been launched! Oh, oh snap. Dang. Warning, warning. Shouldn't they be doing something? They're just sitting there. <laughs> they don't know what to do. I don't <laughs> Race for impact. <laughs> it's coming right for them. But its safety system was on. That was close. That was but close. The air system isn't working. The pressure's dropping. There's a threat the big table could be flooded. Report the damage immediately. Damn. Man, this is probably never going to get made into a movie. <laughs> What's that? Oh, okay, okay. So, oh, that's all the missiles. Oh, snap. Oh, great. You thought the torpedo was bad? Poseidon missiles. Armed. S they're ready. Commander, the Sea Fox missile hatch is. What? What? This is an ROV pitcher. The Poseidon could be launched at any moment. Someone is operating they're, it from inside. Trouble. Nuclear terrorists? How is the Poseidon missile launch code deactivated? Two keys must be entered within the Sea Fox command room. Has the SEAL team arrived yet? The Coast Guard has arrived. The Coast Guard's here, but not the, SRV not the SEAL we team. We have a minute to spare. Mayor, you were a SEAL Team 6 member, right? Didn't you have training in decoding nuclear missile launches? Oh. Uh, yeah, but... I'm sorry, we don't have any time. Get aboard the Sea Fox and take care of the Sea was in SEAL 6, dude. But, but your submarine should be able to dock with the Sea Fox. Just in case, well, I'll give you this. Dude. It'd be funny if he was lying about that in the past. Now he's like, oh crap. If something happens in the Sea Fox, he's like, actually, I just was, I was a Good janitor. <laughs> I just wanted to look cool. All right, now you're getting the weapon card. Yep. Now it's and serious. And it will uh, allow you to unlock the Steyr TMP. The what? The Steyr TMP. And okay. it can be obtained by accessing the arms and ammunition. I wonder how you do that. Well, I don't know now. In one of the rooms, there's like an arms and ammunition thing. 
Hmm. I wish there was a way to oh, tell if the doors were without going in them. <laughs> yeah, <geez. laughs> I need to find a save. I need to move to the next game, but I can't save. I can't find a save. Uh, it doesn't tell me to go to first floor, right? No. If you want your new weapon, you have to figure out how to get to the arms and ammunition. But if you don't want the new weapon, uh, then you're supposed to go meet Mimuki at the E pool. I know where that's at. Oh, wait. The storage room has the arms and ammunition thing in it. The storage room. Did we I see think. that? Yeah, we did. I just don't remember exactly where it was at. This is... something room. Oh, that's the boy's room. Dang it, I wish he was in there. What about <laughs> this door? Oh, this is back to his room. Well, we can go downstairs at least and get to the, to the pool. The storage room is that one room that Mookie was in when he ran away from that monster. We went down so many elevators now, I don't remember. I think that was in yeah, the I other building, I thought. Oh, cutscene. Okay. Streamer raised 2000 to get a tattoo of Shadowheart. Oh, well, that's cool. He'll probably spend the entire 2000 getting the tattoo. <laughs> yeah, barely cover the cost, yeah. He probably just wanted the tattoo, though. So now, chat paid for his tattoo. Safe at home. Mookie, we have to go again. What? <laughs> Shadow Heart from, uh... Baldur's Gate 3. Baldur's Gate? Yeah. How come yeah. we get all the dangerous jobs? We don't have time to wait for the seals. But if it's nuclear terrorists, they would wipe us out with one missile. Let's pray that doesn't happen. Let's pray that doesn't happen. Oh, that cough is getting worse. That's obviously part of the plot. There's the missiles. Dude, this next part is a lot of stuff. I should be able to find a save once we get in here. I actually think I remember playing this and saving somewhere after the, right after this. Because I think the game gets <laughs> actually difficult now. In one of the directions in the walkthrough for this part, there's a part that says, Run toward the man at the end of the hall who will choke and die. <laughs> I hope he just chokes on, like, something he's eating. He's eating hot wings. <laughs> and chokes on a bone. <laughs> and dies. That's part of the plot. Okay, yeah. I think I think one of these will save. Hang on. Is that one? No. Oh, what's this guy doing? Is he sitting on the floor? Oh, yeah. ERS, what happened? He's a sick Everyone's man. He's dead from the strange disease. Hell, I might have caught it, too. There's a submarine at the hatch. He's playing. Australian, I think. What about you? I have some things to do in the back. <laughs> the air in a ship is dangerous from fires. Use a regulator when the air doesn't clear things up. Okay, thanks. All right, we're going down, I guess, the ladder. Sea Fox engine room. Yeah, it says there's nothing in here to just go down the ladder again. Oh, you can go right back down? Yeah, apparently we're supposed to go down the ladder again. There's nothing in here to do right now. Okay. So there's like multiple levels. I need to find uh, out. Got nine seconds. Now you're, you're in the central passageway. Run towards the man at the end of the hall who will choke and die. Oh, let's see that. There he is. All right, here we go. Let's use... <laughs> That's actually li literally what happened. <laughs> okay, there's the same. Oh, wow. 
Let's get the arrow system and let's save it. All right, that's enough of this for tonight. That's enough of that. Good game. And when you though. come back, that guy's got a key on him that'll open the bunk room. I know that we mostly <laughs> laughed because of voice acting, etc. But that actually is this actually is a good game. All right, what was next on the thing? Um, was there something see. Exodus? Next? Yeah, Exodus for NES and then sort of so Dan. So Exodus NES. I don't remember what this game is. Uh, okay, Exodus. Yeah. Oh, I know what this is, dude. I remember. This, oh. It's literally based on the book of Exodus. I can't believe somebody picked for me to play this. I've played this before. I have played this game. Not it's, on this it's show, like a, but... It, it's, it's like a... Like a but, but the game sucks. Does it? I thought this was one of the ones that wasn't too bad. Comparative well, to the I other mean, ones, I, I mean. guess if you're into this kind of thing. No, I think I think this one is. I want to say I it's. Mean like I want to say it's like Dig Dug. I want to say it's like a Dig Dug clone, if I remember correctly. Oh, you play as two player. Journey to the Promised Land. Illegal games. This game is illegal. Yeah, it is kind of like Dig Dug. I was right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the, the song. Of them, and so are you. So let's all. I don't remember. The hilarious dude. Hilarious. Why am I collecting money? So that, there was that one Bible game where you could accidentally throw baby Moses into the river. Yeah, I think I played that on the stream actually. <laughs> he probably did. Well, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that game was, like, three games in one cartridge. Yeah, it was. And they were all, like... The one where you throw Baby Moses was actually a Super Mario Brothers 2 parody. Yeah. You know what's funny about that that game is, uh... I actually played that game because I got it at a Christian bookstore when I was... Oh, kid. really? Yeah, I was like, oh, crazy, they have games here? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what... Oh, he's shooting the word of God at him, dude. That's what that W stands for. Is that for. really what is going on? I'm, I'm taking a wild guess, but... The du du it looks like a W. Yeah. It's the word. And see, I'm picking up a book. That is hilarious, dude. <laughs> I almost feel like this is sacrilegious. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I can't tell... I, I think that I'm doing the game right. That's what it seems like. It's shooting right? McDonald's at him. What, what, is the, what is that you're collecting? I think it's money bags. That just seems kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know why he's so worried about collecting the money, but... Maybe you're collecting mana. Oh, mana. Yeah, you're right, you're right. I, I really don't know. I think you're right. I think you're right. Oh, I see that. It's funnier if it's money. <laughs> So after you get all the mana and or money, you can leave. It would be funny if it's money and then at the end, like, God smites you for... For being, for being greedy. <laughs> Alright, who enslaved the Israelites? Um, the Egyptians did. Correct. Oh, there's a little test. Oh, crap. The king of Egypt told the Hebrew midwives to kill male babies. Yes. Correct. The midwives would not kill the male babies because they feared God. Correct. Because the male babies were not killed by the midwives, Pharaoh ordered his people to... Uh, I don't remember. Kill the midwives? I don't know. Oh, that was wrong. I was wrong. It was cast them into the river? It might have been, but I thought that's just what she did. Moses' mother wanted to save him from the river... Doesn't, okay, doesn't, so it was cast him in the, the river. It, well, this one kind of tells you the answer because it's oh, saying. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, gave him to Pharaoh. That's right, yeah. She gave him to the Pharaoh. What? That's what I thought happened. And then he was raised by the Pharaoh, right? Oh, no, no, no. She put him in the river and the Pharaoh's wife found him. My bad, my bad. That's what happened. But that wasn't an option. I didn't see the. Answer. Yeah, I didn't see the correct answer. That's what I thought happened. Well, we got a yeah, cut scene. It is happening. But the, but the Pharaoh's. One of his wives found Moses and then raised him. 
Yeah. Well, I got some of them, right? I guess. <laughs> oh, 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 the rocks are falling. Oh, oh. So. Oh, whoa, what? That seemed like a death trap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is dangerous now. What's that day? That oh, was just a block. Alright. Oh, there's one of the, oh! the, 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 he, the holy books down there. He got me, dude. I wouldn't expect him to move that quick when I oh, untrapped dude. him. Oh, dude. He covered his face and died. Yep. But he's resurrected. Wait, what character are you actually supposed oh! to be playing? Oh! The rock didn't kill him! I thought the rock would kill him! I'm assuming that I am Moses. When he's older. Yeah, that makes sense. I think it's trying to say that I'm leading my people out. I think that's what I'm doing. <laughs> that's why we're like collecting mana. <laughs> yeah. It's so you can part the Red Sea. I bet that's in the game. It's probably the you finale. You can use at the ocean until it splits open. <laughs> that would make sense. <laughs> oh, man. They need to do, like, a biblical Moses movie now, but base it after this game. <laughs> oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap. People will be so confused. <laughs> oh, dang, dude, <laughs> Oh, my gosh, no! <laughs> dang it. Not being strategic enough, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> I'd do it again. You keep getting killed by the cheese balls. <laughs> Let's, gonna let the cheese ball... Oh, I found a secret word. And a king crown. Oh, oh, that rock did kill that guy. You saw oh, that? Oh, another king. Oh, crap. Yeah. Rocks are coming down. Uh-oh, watch out for that one. I don't know if I have to get all the money. Oh, my gosh. I keep, keep forgetting that that's what happens. The cheese balls keep killing me. <laughs> oh, dude, you gotta watch out for those cheese balls. <laughs> keep forgetting about them. Oh crap! Dang it! I did it again. I just wanted the ma mana. So are are the bad guys the uh, like Egyptians or something? Is that what they're supposed to be? I would assume so. I mean, I don't really know what's going on. I'm just taking a wild guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to be like, if, if we're trying to like make assume that the game is biblically accurate, right? Is Moses killing a bunch of Egyptians with his W's? <laughs> I mean, is that oh my gosh, mean, why did they fall that like, way? Technically, um, maybe he's not killing them. Maybe he's just converting them. Because I'm not sure if I'm entirely clear what time period in Moses' life it is during the actual game. Play. Right, that's why I'm confused. <laughs> Maybe by the end of the game, we're like, oh. Oh my gosh, what? Do you see that? It literally fell diagonally. Whoa, yeah, dude, what the heck? <laughs> that seems... They can oh, do that. That seems like a little bit of a scan. Yeah, dude. I wouldn't have expected that that could happen. Witcher's wife just came downstairs and asked, next date night, you want me to dress like Nathan or Moses? Pick, pick <laughs> Moses, dude. I actually scared the crap out of my kids one time dressing as Moses. My, they were gonna try to, they're gonna try to trick me when I got home from work, and they got these water, these super soakers. And they're gonna super soak me when I got home. But my wife told me about it, so I stopped by a Halloween store and bought a Moses costume. <laughs> they didn't know, and I rolled up in the Moses costume and jumped out of my car and was like, Roar! and scared the crap out of them. They ran away crying. <laughs> <laughs> Gwen. And I put it on YouTube. Oh my gosh, dude. I got a bad feeling about this situation. I know. I'm gonna get that man and get out. Dude, they'll be like falling sideways every once in a while. I know! That happened again. How, how am I supposed to be strategic when they do stuff like that? I'm kind of scared of everything now. Alright, alright. We got it, we got it. I'm about to beat this level. Let these rocks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? See? 
That one went diagonal. Holy crap. Oh, that's close. You're gonna release that Egyptian. I gotta say, so far, this game is... Actually, I gotta admit, this game is more intense than the uh, Deep Fear game was at the beginning. <laughs> oh, I gotta get that mana. Oh my god! That is... That is bullcrap. That's bullcrap. Just because I killed the dirt beside the rock does not mean it should fall diagonally on top of me. Alright. And it doesn't do that every time either. I think I've had enough. I think I've had enough of Like, I've been this. watching to see if... Sometimes like, it don't, if yeah. It always happens, but sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it does. I do think How out weird. of that company, though, that was one of their better games. I used to actually play that game. Wisdom Tree is the name of the company. They did some kind of not good games. That one, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. All right, now it's time for, for the Sword time, of Sodan. You know. It was Genesis, right? Wasn't Sword of Sodan on Genesis? Uh, I'm trying to think, have I even ever played that game? Was it on Genesis? Maybe, oh, there it is, Sword of Sodan, yep. I'm wondering if this is one that slipped past me. It's by EA, so you know it's good. Dude, I don't think I ever actually played this. Grand Reaper Fucking loves. Totally oh my gosh, totally dude! I remember what this game is now. I knew I had played it before. Oh boy, this game is hard as crap. Let's put on easy. Man, I never even heard of this. I'm gonna be the girl. Oh boy, this game is hard, dude. How could I forget? Oh, I remember now, dude. With this, <laughs> absolutely abhorrent. <laughs> Freaking walking. And then they, <laughs> dude, they make you kill so many things. I gotta remember. There's a, You gotta press a button to turn around. I don't remember what it is now. Okay, there we go. Okay, wait, wait. Get this way. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh, duck, duck, duck. There's so many bad guys and you have to, you have to like purposefully turn. Oh my gosh, there's no way I can do this. Turn, 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 turn. I'm trying to turn. This game looks like if Golden Axe sucked. If what did? Golden Axe? Golden Axe. Oh my gosh, they're coming from that way. Oh they spent gosh. all their bud budget trying to make it seem like their graphics were really realistic. So my problem with this game is I, j it just, I don't get it. I don't understand how you can actually play the game. You know what I mean? Like, there's so many bad guys and you just can't... It's You're so slow. You can't do nothing. It just feels like one of those games where it's like, okay, nobody can play this game. This is made for nobody. And like, there's infinite bad guys. So if you're not well, progressing... Like it seems like that they were doing Xena Warrior Princess, the game, and then it got cancelled, and they were like, well, let's just release it anyway. <laughs> the bird chirping in the background is the, is the music. Oh, no, 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 Turn around. Dude, the gore in this game. See, like, how would I not get hit I would have been surprised guy? to see a game this gory back then, honestly. I would have, too. I think that was its main selling point. They're like, a realistic sword fighting game. Grand Ole Reaper legitimately likes this game. Oh, he says play the guy, the lady is lame. Use the potions to get strong, okay? Do you have to do anything or just collect them? Because they're up there, but I don't know how to use them. Oh, wait, maybe that's how I use them. It looks like I'm just, like, giving it an HJ, if you know what I'm saying. I don't know how to actually use it. <laughs> yeah, it does. That is what it looks like. <laughs> how do you maybe actually... Maybe do it fast enough to pop will top and you can drink it. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Come on, faster. Come on. Pop loose. Potion. I don't know how to use the potion. That's weird, man. So the problem with these games is, back in the day, I had an instruction manual. My controller just disconnected. And it would have told me these things that I don't know. We'll try, after we die, we'll try the dude. I think maybe I have it activated. It's still up there flopping around. You have to select multiple potions? Oh, okay. So let's do that one and this one. 
and this one, and nope, those three. I don't know what they do, but I think we beat this level. Between the city's walls, enter now and break the seal. Cross the guarded span. Breach the wall of men and steel into the wizard's hand. Wow. A little poem for beating the level. Watch out for spikes. Oh my gosh, I remember this. Oh, no, no, come on now. Oh my, oh my gosh. Dude, I'm supposed to fight these guys while also somehow with these horrible controls. Oh, oh. This is oh my gosh, and there's stuff coming up out of the ground. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The hell the heck? Dude, this game looks like it would actually be really hard to seriously sit down and try to really play. It is. Absolutely. All right, let's jump this way. I don't know where the spikes are going to come. Oh, shoot. Oh, my gosh. Please. Okay, we're past the spikes. We're past the spikes. I'm too close to hit that guy. Oh, turn around, turn around, turn around. Dang, dude. Brutal. Like, I just feel like you should be able to do more than just this. So bad. Oh, my gosh. Bro. It just feels like one of those games where it's like, did this person ever play a game before? Did they realize that this is not how you make games? If you don't make people have to press A and right to turn around, you know? If they just press right, maybe make them turn around. It would be great. It would be better if it starred Fabio. Maybe the maybe the man is Fabio. We don't know yet. Okay, it looks like... Oh, that's true. Dang it. Oh, oh. Now that middle spike did not literally come up the whole time until I stepped. And my controller just disconnected. <laughs> this Jeez. my controller does not like this game. All right, we made to level three. In the city streets, held fast in Zora's evil thrall, though men and giants bar the way with sword, answer battle's call in the fading light Ooh. of day. <clears throat> I'm gonna write those lyrics down. The A button drinks potions. Okay, I'll try that. Oh, oh, I did drink them. Okay, something happened. Oh my gosh, a boss. No freaking way. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, look at that. That man. potion. You gotta fight him in his belly. Oh, he went away. Did you hit him one time in the stomach and he got out? <laughs> he ran away, dude. <laughs> He'll be back. He'll be back. Yeah, he probably will. Axe Warriors. Jeez. <laughs> they got their little energy. Oh, oh my gosh, what is that? It's that bug came back. Oh crap, now I'm facing the wrong way. Hang on, jump. Oh my gosh, I can't hit the B. Oh my that B's gonna get me, dude. Okay, turn around. <laughs> it's, I think it's pretty bad. People in chat. We're gonna go crazy. There's a couple people in chat think it's a good game, though. I mean, you know, it could be that if I played this back in the day, right. maybe I would think that too. Yeah. Because, you know, back in the day, even if you got a crap game, you played it anyway. I had a bunch yeah. of those. I have kind of good memories with even though I know they suck, you know? Yeah, so do I. I knew it then, too. I just refused to, to say it out loud because it was my game, you know? I picked it, so. Right. That's what I had. Dude, we would legit be, like, having to judge our buying experience off of, like, two screenshots on the back of a box. Dude, for real. Well, or well, even I worse, cool, I guess. even worse was, like, when you're buying a used game at, like, a pawn shop and all it was was the game. Oh, yeah. That happened a lot to me. I was yeah, just be like, it's got a dragon on it, so I think I'm going to so... like it. The covers that, were so out there, too, on those. Oh, yeah, dude. That's how you I ended up with Dragon Warrior, really though. Good. I didn't know it was an RPG. I just knew I saw a dragon on it. I was like, cool. I bet I'll like this game. You know, surprisingly, that was one of the few Nintendo games that actually had a cool cover. It did have a pretty good cover. Oh, my gosh, a giant! Two giants! Is this a joke right now? 
Hang on. We got to. Oh my gosh, man. Got to. Let's pick a couple of potions here. Let's do these three. Okay. Drink them. <laughs> <laughs> they killed me as soon as I got out. <laughs> Drink the potion! Flame brand? How do I do it? Oh my gosh, turn around, you idiot. Something fire's going on there. You see that? Yeah, I don't know what in the world is happening. I feel like I'm not even hurting these guys. Oh my They're gosh. just poking them in the knees. And look, they have knee protection on, so... Dude, it's not do doing any damage to them. I can't hurt these guys. Like, I'm legitimately hitting... Okay. I see. You gotta get real close for these guys. Oh, that should have killed him. <laughs> that one brought him to his knees. <laughs> I think you hit him in the balls. That's how you have to kill these guys. You have to hit them in the balls. You gotta get close too, and you can't hardly get close because they beat the crap out of you. I know, dude. And, their hits and then, and then look, look, then I can't hit him. Once he's on his oh, knees, I can't hit him anymore. This is impossible. Yeah, what are you supposed to do then? There's no way, guys. There's no way. You guys are be you guys are trolling me. There's no way. This is not even like possible to play. You guys are trolling me. This has got to be a troll. Like. This is so bad. There's no way. <laughs> like, I... this game is so bad. <laughs> it's god awful. So look, okay, wait, wait, I did hit him. You gotta be like in a per. Oh, I decapitated him. Okay, that was pretty cool. Really? Yeah, that was pretty cool. Oh, okay, yeah, you gotta back up and then do a little. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, well, it redeemed itself a little bit with that. That's crazy for the time. This is like 1989, yeah, it really I think. Is. Okay, we got we got a couple of potions going. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this orange one, the red ones. I'm gonna go ahead and drink Ooh, them. Solarium potion. I got flaming brand again. There's a skull above that. Bar, that chugging potion animation. <laughs> I think we're coming up on the boss, and I will never beat it, ever. Skeleton head. I saw Vash Matrix said, uh, nominating Little Nemo's Dream Master. That's actually a good That's game. That's a good game. That is a good game. That is a good game. Oh, sweet. Well, Level four. That it, it, it was like a... It was a... It was like a movie, like an animated film. Mm -hmm. It was a good movie, too. Yeah, a lot of people didn't realize. Uh, there, I've met a lot of people that had no idea there was a movie, and that that's what the whole point of the game really was about. Well, I did play the game first, but then I saw the movie. And I was like, "Oh, cool! There's a movie." Yeah, I, I, the opposite. I actually saw the movie first somehow. Oh my god, zombies! Grand oh my jeez, dude! Look how grabby they are, dude! They're coming for you. Yeah, I think they're perverted. Dude, there's a tons of them. When oh my gosh! Your power, I'm dude, stuck. I'm stuck too. Dude, I'm not. How are you supposed to walk through here? I'm stuck dude, on them. Tons. Oh my gosh! This one's oh like to get a perfect setting. Dude, that is what it's like. That is exactly what it's like after 10 p.m. in perfect setting. I did get. I did get number one best score. Right after tomorrow. I'll put it in. It's close enough. Yeah, it's tomorrow. Angela M. Those names, dude. Angela M. Xylophone, Angela M. All right, we're going to come back to this game because he threw down big money. So you got to jump the spirits damage you. We're going to come back because you've dropped big money. We're going to do... Uh, every time we're in between games, we'll come back to Sword of Sodan. <laughs> Since you dropped that big money. Uh, I do want to actually see, because I see it right in front of my face. I do want to see if Superman on Genesis is god awful or not. Because I, I did want this game when I was a kid, Dude, I but I never got it. Too, did you ever see it and be like, I kind of want to play that game? Yeah, dude. Any kind of those games back then, I would think that. But I don't know if I ever played this. If I did, it was like a rental and I've forgotten. I know I did not own this game. Yeah, I didn't either. I didn't never even got to rent it. I might be able to tell you if I played it as soon as I see 
the actual level. Okay. Looks like we got no, a No, I definitely never played this. This actually looks cool, dude. Yeah, this looks good. Sunsoft, they make good games back then. They made out a bunch of awesome Game Boy games, man. Yeah. I think they made Arrow, the Acrobat, or whatever. The animations are pretty cool. Yeah, I'm not very good at it, but that's not the game's fault. The Daily Planet! I feel like I should be able to fly somehow. I wonder if you gotta get, like, a super uh, power or something. Dang it. Okay, it is okay. weird that you can in a Superman game. Yeah, I remember back Has then... Has there ever even really been a good Superman game, for real, though? Yeah, that's what I wonder. The, the, the 64 one's got awful. It's the worst. This is already way better than that one. This okay. looks like uh, the kind of game that, even if it's not the best game ever, I probably would have put a lot of time into. Yeah, I would have to. Just to see the next level kind of thing. Oh, I found a new move. Dude, I played the crap out of all those X-Men games and that Wolverine game and oh yeah, shit, all those games. That one, uh, that one X-Men game that was on Super Nintendo was really good. I used to play at my cousin's house all the time, where you could be like Cyclops, uh, Beast, Wolverine, Cyclops. You remember oh, that it one? It was uh, Age of Apocalypse. Hey, yeah, that was a really good one, dude. I I wanted that game so bad. We had a similar one on the Genesis, but it it wasn't. It wasn't that one. Was it the one where you could be Nightcrawler? Yeah, I think so, yep. Yeah, I played the crap out of that one, too. And then there was a Wolverine game on Super Nintendo that was awesome. Okay. Or at least I thought it was back then. I don't think I'm gonna get anywhere in this game. It's one of those games you gotta kinda learn the level. Yeah. It's not one you just hop on It looks on like in. your attack is a little bit tough to pull off. It is. Dude. It's it's very it's short punch, range. And that's Tasmania. I've already played on the show, but that was what made me want a Genesis. I was at a friend's house, and he was like... Dang, dude, I didn't know there was a Tailspin game, I don't think. I don't know if I knew that. Where was it? Let's see Tailspin. It was up there. Let's see if it's any good. Most yep. of those games like that were pretty good back then. The Disney games were, Disney games were good. They were all, the like, day. really pretty decent platformers, most of them. I bet you this is a platformer, too. Um, I do. Hang on, let me let the game load. I must get the. I bet cuts. I did play this. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Maybe I didn't. I actually don't think I ever played this one. Yeah, I definitely didn't. Yeah, I didn't I know about it. Oh, whoops! It's, it's, your weapon's one of those paddle fall things. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, swimming. Old blue, dude. Get a little air. Okay, now what? Weird. Oh, something happened there. Not sure what's going on here. Am I just screwed? Yeah, I don't know. Weird. I think I'm just screwed if I fell in the water. I think you can go up there and go left in that little hole there. Oh, you might be right. No. It looked like there was like a. Oh, there it is. The there it is. Ah, oh, but that was just a secret, not the way out. Maybe there's another break in the wall. Let's get some air. Oh, yeah, there is one over here. Oh, okay. There's a crab on you? Yeah, there was some crabs down here. Oh, shoot. That water looks so crappy. I wonder, it's, I'll go back and watch the stream sometimes and you guys see it different than I do. Oh, I bet that's what's going on, dude, because it looks like... <laughs> what's it look like? I'm trying to, it looks like a, like a, a finely meshed screen door. <laughs> that is the effect that it's using to do transparency, I think. You know what I mean? It's like a bunch of tiny dots with missing yeah. dots so that it looks transparent, sort of. The Genesis struggled to do transparency. It could do it, but apparently it was... Dude, wait a minute, dude. I hate to be that guy, but hang on a second. Look closely when I fall in the water. 
Something's poking out of his... Dude, I think... I think his weenus comes out when he gets in the water. Maybe it does. Hey, <laughs> look, look. On. Look, I swear. I see a little weenus po poking up. <laughs> There's something going on There's there. There's something going on there. This doesn't look like their best one. No, this one looks like they just no like... Ducktales. It looks like they just had to make one, like they were on a contract. They're like, oh, whatever, all right. But it's not garbage. It controls good. It's just, it's nothing special. Yeah, it's just, it's no DuckTales. It's no DuckTales. That's probably why we never heard of it. It's just not that special. Dude, I hope you guys can see what I'm saying there. I wonder if I can pause it. That little willicker, I see it, dude. <laughs> trying to pause it. Looks it looks like, like, like it turns into a cow udder flipping around. Oh, there it is! You guys see it? I paused it just right. Right in front of his belly. It's yeah, like it flickers. It's like it flickers up and down, whatever it is. Yeah. It, uh, it's jangling about. It looks a little sus to me. All right, one more game. Then we're going yeah, back to Sword of Dan. Um, before we leave the Genesis section, Steve, have you ever played the Hyperstone Heist Ninja Turtles game on Genesis? It was exclusive to the Genesis, kind of like Super Nintendo got um, Turtles in Time or whatever it was called. Yeah, I don't think I did, dude. This is a good game. This was Even our I had Turtles both consoles. I was usually more prone to get stuff on the Super Nintendo. Usually, unless there was a specific title that I just knew that I wanted. Sword of Soda only has seven levels, so we got to level four. Really? Wow! So we actually did do good. That's why it's so bad. Here it is: Leonardo, Donatello, Michelangelo, Raphael. I definitely did not play this, like, back then. It's possible that I've played it on an emulator or something since. It's a good game. I'm gonna max all this stuff out. Yep, it's two-player. We'll see if we can set this up for next time. Yeah, dude, I would be down. That would be cool if we can, like, play online like that. Yeah. All right, and we'll go with my man, Donatello. Well, who is your favorite turtle, see? Donatello. I knew it. Donatello was my favorite when I was a kid. Me too. My first toy I got of them too. I got Donatello first. Me he too. Was my favorite. Now, it may turn out that I was influenced by my dad to like Donatello because he's a Minnesota Vikings fan, so because of the purple. Oh, okay. So I, I bet you anything that at least has some sort of influence on that. I just, I just thought that like the bow out of all the, the um, out of all the weapons they were using, I felt like that was the one at that time as a little kid that I, it felt new to me. I didn't know about the bow. You know what I mean? I knew about nunchucks. Yeah, it did to me too. Cause I was like, dang, he's doing all this stuff with a stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, that is cool, dude. That means he could, but even if he lost his weapon, he could just like grab a stick from a tree. Yeah. And then it turned out he was really smart and built all the things and made the freaking, what was it called? The turtle van? Yeah, dude, he was the smart one. Pizza time. This is Pizza time. Cool yeah, it was, it's a good game. Like, I, I feel like I want to say that at some point in time maybe I played this, but... It might just be that it has similar. Yeah, it's super to similar to a bunch of them. Yeah, another it, dude. It definitely looks on par with the uh, arcade. One yeah. Back in the day. Oh yeah. Dude, I used to love that arcade game. It was perfect, it was so dude. It's still good. If I ever got rich enough to have a house with a little arcade in it, I would definitely put that game. The thing about these turtle games, they always had good animation. And there was always like a bunch of stuff in the environment you could do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, Dude, so let me ask you this. 
Do you have every Sega Genesis game? That came out in US, yes. Then do you have the McDonald's one? Was there a McDonald's Genesis game? Oh, I'm not sure. The McDonald's Genesis game is the best, most hilarious one. Really? All right, after sort of so like down. Bends, that's the one where he like bends down and shoots magic out of his fingers. Oh, I didn't remember that one. Okay. After sort of so Dan's next attempt, we'll uh, we'll do that one. You have to do that one just just so everyone can see how glorious it is. Do you remember what it's called? Was it called McDonald's something or Mick something? Dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find, I'll find out. I just remember it was the one that was I'm pretty sure it was the Sega one. I remember it because he like squats down. He's like, <laughs> yeah, dude, it looks kind of creepy. <laughs> something maybe Ronald McFondle might do. Oh, here it is, dude. What's it called? McDonald's Treasure Land Adventure. Ah, uh, yep, 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 I remember that. All right, first really? level. The sprite for Ronald McDonald in that game is actually really good, too. You know what makes me sad about playing Genesis games today? What? Is that I can... I hate to say this, guys, but... Because I'm a huge Sega fan, obviously, but... Playing them now, today... I'm able to see that, like... The Super Nintendo is obviously more powerful. Back in the day, I didn't see it. I actually thought this looked better. And I still think some games, they actually did a better job putting it on the Genesis, right? Which is different than it being more powerful. But I remember back then, in the console wars, I actually legitimately thought the Genesis looked better. All the way until Donkey Kong Country came out. Oh, yeah. That was kind of the end of the debate. But they cheated. But I didn't know. I didn't know back then they cheated. I thought that really was running on regular old Super Nintendo. I didn't know they put a, a freaking graphics card in the cartridge. Oh really? Yeah, I that's how they pulled that. off a bunch of that stuff on Super Nintendo. Well, it worked. It did work. I always just felt like Sega had like, in my mind when I was a kid, I, I didn't ever really thought that one was more powerful than the other. It just seemed like. Sega had like some kind of. It was almost like that they had like a different color palette. Or yeah, something. yeah. Weird. It, it's like. And that I is true like too. That Sega Genesis like to use a lot of vibrant. Vibrant. Colors. Yep. Agreed. Like. Like, I even feel like if you go and play a Ninja Turtles game on the Super Nintendo that even the turtles aren't that green. Yeah, they're green. not, right. It's like a Super Nintendo might have like more detail in the sprites and stuff, but like the colors are a little more washed out looking. It does have more yeah. color. There's way more options, but not as vibrant. The Genesis went for like super bright, catchy colors, you know, in their entire color palette. Well, they had to make Knuckles look good. Yeah. It was all for Knuckles. It's also worth mentioning that, like, when Sega designed the Genesis, arcades were on their mind. When when Nintendo uh -huh. designed Super Nintendo, Nintendo games were on their mind. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that makes sense, though. All right. Anyway, cool game. I Pizza. love that game. Whoa, well, dude. It's time to go back to Sword, to of, Sword of Sodan. Sodan. <laughs> it's time. Here we go. We took a little break. We got to Dude, level it's four. Gonna be brutal. I did figure out how to this kill those. Those. Hardcore. This time I won't at least die three times to those giants because now I do know how to kill them. Oh, whoops! I picked oh, the wrong you game. Have to start all the way back at the beginning. Yes. Oh, brutal, dude. I accidentally picked Sword of Vermilion. That game actually does suck. Dude, I love those Valus games. I just saw Valus. Those are good games. Yeah, that's right, Mujins. Super Nintendo had a bigger color palette, but Genesis had smaller but more vibrant colors. I'm I mean, it may be that they just chose to use vibrant colors. I mean, I don't really know. Oh, crap. But they definitely did always have, like, just brighter-looking games, more vivid, almost, like, neon-esque. Yeah, I agree. In a way. And that was the appeal, and you would hear kids arguing that. I remember, like, on the school bus, you hear them arguing about that. They're like, I just like the colors of the Genesis. It looked, it pops out the screen, dude. Yeah, but dude, have you even played Paperboy? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it's so funny, dude. What a what a game franchise that was destined to not be able to keep making games. Yeah. Paperboy. But was so popular that first one, man, on the Nintendo. Oh yeah. All right, now Everybody we're gonna had that game. we're gonna be the man now. Everybody says he's way better. I'm gonna figure out his moves here. It does seem like he turns way faster, games. dude. Look at this. Look how quickly I can turn with this guy. Oh, it's Weird. A good here. They actually made the female suck. I feel like now. Dude, he attacks way faster, maybe. Oh my gosh, I'm getting my butt kicked, though. Oh my gosh, I can't move. I hate it. I hate how you have to be like, you have to be like at a certain distance. It's so annoying. At least I can turn around faster. All right, you little punks. You little punks. Oh my gosh, they surround you. What are you supposed to do? <laughs> what are you supposed to do? You can't do nothing. Like, look, I can't even stab. I literally just have to die. It's so stupid. He looks kind of... You know, I almost said this when you were playing as the girl, but now it really looks like a Conan movie. <laughs> Just stab them in the grow until they die. You can beat the whole game with the upper chop. This one right here? But dude, you have to get close to them, they stab you. Hey, it's like you have to get so close, and there's like a perfect distance. It's so freaking annoying. I don't know about this upper chop strategy, bro. I'm getting beat up. Oh, I hate the controls of this game so bad. Dude, it just looks painful. It is. Play. It is painful. It is very painful. Like, this is one of those games, if I would have, if I'd have bought this as a kid, like, yeah, I would have played it for a while, but as soon as I could, I would have tricked somebody that I didn't like too much to trade games for anything else. I would have tried to act like it was so cool to them, you know what I mean? Until they wanted oh, to trade yeah. some game that actually was any, anything but this. <laughs> That's what I would have did. That would be a smart plan. <laughs> Gosh, I hate these controls so bad. <laughs> it's so awful! I'm just going to jump in their face and then up. That seems to be working. Well, it was. <laughs> just jump right up in their face. You gotta get close range. Yeah. That seemed to work. I'm afraid to waste potions because I have no idea what they do. I have literally no idea what they do. Alright, level two. I can't believe it only has seven levels. No effect. I literally just wasted three potions for nothing. Okay, we just gotta get past these. We just gotta get past these as quick as we can, because there's definitely not a strategy to this. Okay, okay, we're getting pretty good luck. Okay, 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 keep moving, keep moving. Keep moving, Conan. Let's jump up in his face. Come on, jump up in his face. No, no, no. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh! Going, just keep going, just keep going, go, go, go. Crap, crap, crap. Please, please. I just can't do Brutal, anything. Dude. It's just so awful. You can't jump when they're up on you, you can't do nothing. You're just stuck. It's so ungodly bad. Just... This is just so ungodly bad. <laughs> You're not even to the zombies yet. I know. I'm I'm doing even worse. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Okay. I feel like all the enemies have like a lot more range than you. They do. Big time. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna punch this guy in the belly. Come run away. Oh yeah. Okay, he's gone. I mean, if you could even just, like, jump and attack, it would help a lot, but you can't. <laughs> okay, let's, let's take some potions. 
Have you ever played Lagoon on here before? Yes, I have played Lagoon. That game has an awesome turn around, turn around. too. I just hate how they just keep coming. It's so annoying. Just like no matter what you do, you're wasting your time. Okay, I gotta get that potion. Oh, I got the bug at least. There's a blue potion. Okay, okay, okay. Wait for it. Hurry, hurry, get him, get him, get him. Oh my gosh, we're almost at the end of this level. Oh my gosh. I got two lives left. Stupid bug. Dude, turn around, turn around. Can I leave? <laughs> it's not gonna let me. Oh, I was too close. Jeez. Freaking sucks. Let me leave. Oh, what? This is the level with the giants? Oh, crap. Crap, they got me surrounded. Let me get on this side of them. Let me get some potions here. We'll do a red, a blue, and a red. Come on, hurry. Do s no effect! I hate it! It's so stupid. It shouldn't waste your potions like that. That's dumb. It's like random alchemy. Okay, wait, wait. Back up. Decapitate him. Decapitate him. Yeah! One life left. This game sucks, guys. I can't believe you guys like this game. It's unbelievable to me. Okay, back up. Okay. Now can I leave this crappy level? Okay, drinking one orange zaps the enemies on screen. Okay, apparently four clear potions skips the level. Ooh. Okay, you can drink a single potion or two. Okay, okay, so I shouldn't be doing three. Okay, so one red will heal. Oh my gosh, here we go. Oh my gosh, dude. They're spitting at me. Like, I can't even walk forward. There's so many of them. I mean, this is just not good gameplay, guys. Uh, I hate to break it to everybody, but this is, like, what you don't do. This is how you don't make a game. I can't... I get stuck on them, and I can't move. Like, that zombie, I couldn't move. They just keep coming. I've got cr bad controls. I got not many moves I can do. It's just, it's just god awful, dude. It's literally everything wrong that could possibly be wrong with the game is included in this game. <laughs> it's included. <laughs> it's a feature of this game. Everything that sucks. Is... That was the whole purpose of the game. It's so bad. It's so bad. This is when the EA went downhill, dude. Because you guys said it, this was good, and you're like, oh, cool, people like this. This is why EA sucks. You guys let them get away with this. Oh my gosh, turn around for God's sakes. There's one life down. No, no fault of me, <laughs> nothing I could have done. <laughs> so bad, jeez, I hate it. So stupid, guys. It's so dumb. It's so bad. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna take a potion. I didn't see my health go up. It didn't do crap. I do have one clear one. Oh my gosh! Please, for the love of God. 
Okay, let's try to jump towards them. And then... Clear plus blue equals 20 seconds for invisibility. I mean, I don't want to waste it on these idiots who are killing me for no reason. Please. You see how it's not even hitting that guy? He's right there. <laughs> this is god awful. Guys, I'm going to have to take a break after this. This is too bad. I can't, I, I can't take it. I can't take it. This is seriously one of the worst games I've ever played my entire life. I can't even think of a game worse. I'm trying. It would, looks rough. But. E.T. was better. At least you could control E.T. He did what you wanted him to do. It was a stupid game. Yes. What was the point? I don't know. But I could play it. You know, I didn't want to rip my eyeballs out. That game is so bad, dude. Jeez. Whew. All right. Let's 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 uh, let's palate cleanse. Um, let's play. Oh, let's McDonald's. do that. Let's do that McDonald's game. Oh. <laughs> it's so expensive. And then we'll we'll go back. We'll go back to Sora Sodan. It changed your life when you play H. There is no Mr. C. Talk straight to me. There is no way. That you like that game. There's no way. I don't believe it. It's so awful. All right, Mick, Mick uh, what was it called? It was called... McDonald's McDonald's something. Treasure or something. Oh, here it is. Treasure Land, Land Adventures. Oh, yeah. Did this actually have a decent cover? Did you see that? Yeah, dude. And okay. It actually is not that bad of a game for what it is. Treasure made this game? legendary treasure that made like freaking uh, Guardian Heroes and freaking uh, what was the one game on Genesis that everybody liked with this kind of like a shooter where you're the little dude and you can hang on things and shoot and treasure's epic dude no wonder this is a good game I can't believe McDonald's got treasure to make this game no, no wonder it's not that bad yeah I totally remember this game dude wait this is my favorite move right here though <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, this is a good game. For some reason, that looks hilarious. <laughs> yeah, there's just something really creepy about it. <laughs> 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 oh man, you can do something with these. Oh, there it is. Look at those clouds, dude. Dude, this has treasure written all over it now that I know that. The graphics and everything. Do a remake of this, but with Ronald McFondle. <laughs> yes, we should try to make a uh, a mod. <laughs> it's perver it's like really perverted. And the final boss is Gloria in the, in the PR department, in the HR department. You can use that zip that's line. When, when the guy's like <laughs> perverted. He's talking about chicken nuggets, Gloria. <laughs> you know, our number one selling menu item, Gloria! <laughs> oh man. Whoa. Dude, this was the best McDonald's game ever made, hands down. Oh! Day night system? Seriously? <laughs> Let me show you guys why this is a better game than Sword of Sodan. Hang on. What's this? Attack that way. Attack that way. Hut, 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 hut. See how quickly I can switch sides? Watch this when I jump. Look at this. Look how smooth it is. Oh, I think that was a dwarf. I, these are little gnomes or dwarves? What are those? They look like little gnomes. I, is Grimace in this game? I think I remember him being in the game. I don't remember. 
Even this music's kind of good, dude. <laughs> like, it doesn't need to be, but it is. It's the best thing to call several of the fall. Can you guys hear me and Steve good? It seems like maybe the audio might be too loud. Grimace shows up at the end. I thought our... Oh, look at that fish. He looks cool. Like, this is really good, like, enemy design. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh. Oh, I thought... I thought Ooh, I'd be able to walk like in there. It looks like it's straight out of Sonic the Hedgehog. It does. A lot of this feels like Sonic, actually. Yeah, it does kind of, like, the graphics. Like, the backgrounds and stuff? I was thinking that, too. Yeah. Dang, that one's... Crap. Punching you up. All right, we gotta we gotta jump across here. You get punished for falling down by that guy, I think. For being bad at platforming, they punished you back in the days. With a horrible bad guy. Oh crap! No, I didn't make it. Dude, how far apart his legs go when he jumps? Oh, too early. All right, we gotta go quick. I think is the secret. I'm gonna try to learn how to naturally jump like that. <laughs> That'd just be the way that you jump from now on. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this part's hard. Go, 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 go. Dang it! I wonder if he'll stay dead. <laughs> I wonder if he'll stay dead now that I got him. With my magic McDonald's powers. Dang it. You gotta hit him right in the head. That's the only way. There we go, got him. Alright. Maybe he won't be there now. So see what we gotta do. Gotta be quick. Gotta get over here, and then over here, and then over here, and then start jumping up, and jump up, and then BAM! We did it! That snake has AI, dude. This good AI. Oh crap. Okay. The current's so strong, I can't get to that. Come on! We got it! I'm not gonna figure out how to get out of here. <laughs> I think I made a mistake. Oh, there we go. What the heck? It's a frog, dude! Look at that waves! On, look at the... Look at the freaking animation on those waves! Oh, yeah. Dude, how is that frog just happening to go perfectly between my magic cast. Seems like, seems like... What the heck, dude? What's the chances that every time he would be... What is going on here? Like, hang on. I even changed the pattern a little bit. I can't get him, dude. It's impossible. Hang on, maybe if I just stand. <laughs> I swear it went through him that time. I think it doesn't work out. Oh, maybe he's a good guy. That's a good Let's try. Maybe you're right. Oh, you're right, dude. Hang on. <laughs> you're right. That's why it wasn't working. It's part of the game. Oh, oh, oh! I don't even know what the hell just happened. He had uh, balloons. Oh, balloons. <laughs> he had balloons, but I think I was maybe popping them. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Oh, wait, wait for the jump. I feel like you have to like pull a move and jump onto the other one before you fall. In the oh, oh, oh! You're right. Yeah, you do. And also that guy. I might oh, have to try that. to kill a him. Furby. <laughs> it is a Furby. It's a Furby. They invented it. it turns out. Oh, you can stand on top of that water. Ooh, a big water or something going on. Okay, I think we gotta go up there somehow. There we go. Look <laughs> at What's going on? Oh, it's a mini game. I'm trying to collect the stuff as I go. Oh, whoa. Bad guys are coming at me. Do you just have to dodge him, I guess? I, I think so. Every once there's a little no gold magic. or something. No magic. Just dodging. 
Dude, I would actually so say, as a, as a platformer, this game is... I know it's gonna sound crazy. I would say it's up there with, like, Earthworm Jim. I would say yeah, it's dude, that Earthworm caliber. Earthworm Jim is kind of hard. It's yeah, bad. it is. It's good, though. It's just... It's harder than I remember. Earthworm Jim is better to play now where you have, like, things like, um... Uh, um... Uh, rewind and stuff. Oh, yeah. You can actually beat Earthworm Jim now, because you can just rewind when you mess up. A lot of those games, I feel like, have gotten extra life because of features like that. What is this? Oh, it's a countdown. We're at, like, a water park or something. It's like oh. a countdown. Got it. Okay, safety zone. Dude, there's something about the effects of that water actually made me feel like I was having a seizure. <laughs> <laughs> something about that. It does look crazy. It's gonna hurt my eyes. Yeah, it's a, it's a little mad for you. <laughs> I don't like it. It's blinding. Oh, crap. I don't yeah, know how to... I'm, I'm just looking at it on a cell phone size screen, and it's still pretty rough. Oh, jeez. Ronald McDonald's lore is deep. <laughs> oh, 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 I see. I see. It's counting down for the rain bullets. Oh, snap. They need to bring Ronald McDonald back out of retirement and do a sequel to this. Do you, did you hear about why they don't do Ronald McDonald no more? Isn't it because of when the, the, the clown scare happened? Yeah, that had a lot to do with it. People, like, hated clowns because the clown... They call it... McDonald's mentioned a meeting and called it the clown apocalypse. <laughs> and they said oh, that it was just not a good time for Ronald. And then they just decided, you know what? We're really not going to target children anymore. We're going for, for adults. Yeah. Oh, we made it to the goal, guys. We're getting far in this game. It's crazy how far I can get in the game that actually I can play. <laughs> We're going back to Sorso Den right after this, guys. Right after this. Don't worry. Don't worry, Grand Old Reaper. You spent <laughs> good money. This I is the palate cleanser. This is, yeah, this is the palate cleanser to get me back focused. Oh my gosh. I will say this about Sorso Den. If I would have owned it back then, I would have probably thought it was a good graphic showcase. It's hard to say that now. What the heck? Did I just pick one? Oh, it costs golds. Not gold. Golds. 10,000 golds. <laughs> 10,000 golds. <laughs> I don't even know what the flowers do. I don't either. We don't got enough golds. We, we almost do. We have 4,000 golds. Oops, not enough golds. <laughs> not enough golds. <laughs> Oh, look who it is! Dude, it's the hand burglar! <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, there he is! <laughs> Let me see if I can get the. Don't touch, it says. Let's get see if we can get down there and talk to the gold. Here we... Oh, oh. Hand burglar? Am I ever glad to see you? <laughs> 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 What's that you say? Oh, you want two of my magic jewels? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Just took a turn. What's that? You say you'll give me a hint for the jewels. Really? Will you give him the jewels? <laughs> yeah, I feel a little weird about giving him my two jewels, but I guess I'll do it. You say the enemy bosses will try to steal my magic jewels? <laughs> oh, I can attack them while they're eating the jewels. <laughs> really? Thanks, Hamburglar. I'll give it my best what? shot. So the boss is gonna try to eat my jewels. <laughs> no, I like how there's a TV on a Mc with a McDonald's on it. <laughs> I wonder if we're about to hit up a boss now. Since we just got that hint from the hamburger. Dude, it makes it seem like it. Oh, oh there he is! Got this far. Oh dude, that's a big boss, bro. They oh, trying dang. to he's trying to eat my jewels, dude. <laughs> dude, watch out. I'm scared to go. Oh crap. <laughs> I don't even... Do I just not die, or do I actually kill him? I don't know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. That was not a safe spot. Oh, I just had to survive. What's this? 
I bet you haven't seen the last of Oh, that. now for the real boss. Oh, dude, look at him, it's a tomato! Shooting tomato juice at me, dude! Oh, hilarious! It's actually happening! This is real! We gotta figure out how to beat him. There's a flower. Okay. <laughs> He's gonna eat him! I don't know how to hurt him yet. Oh crap, I still didn't figure out how to hurt the guy. It has something to do with those tomatoes spawning. It's got to. I don't know. Or were those just there to be annoying? I don't know. I don't know what the flowers do. Try press maybe no. The flowers have to be for something. You think I'm hurting them? I can't tell. It didn't seem like it. Oh I got a jewel back. The jewels are my health, I think. Yeah, they are. I don't know. I don't think I'm doing anything to him. But maybe I am. It's the only power I got. That and this. I think that you can only attack him when he's eating your jewels. Oh, is that what the Hamburglar said? I don't know. I'm looking at a wall. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I gotta hit the tomatoes until a jewel pops out and then wait for him to try to get it or something. Well, it's so cute. Uh, uh, oh, he did eat my jewel when I stepped on that. Oh, you're right, dude. That's how you do it. That's right. Oh, Lord. So oh, I gotta, I gotta, yeah. okay. I gotta let him eat a jewel and then get him. Crap, 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 crap. Yeah, we got him. We got him. Oh, he had to attack and get shot by the way. Yeah, he gets a jewel. And then I beat him up. We got him. <laughs> that is what the Hamburglar said. He did say, let him yeah. eat your jewels. And then I just didn't know how to let him eat my jewels. Ouch. Ow. Owie. You win, Ronald. Please. Please, take my piece of the map. <laughs> my piece of the map. <laughs> okay, I will. Oh, dude, we're going to Perf City now. Hey, it fits the piece I have perfectly. Hmm. hmm. I wonder who has the rest of this map. Probably the next boss. So Ronald got the second part of the map and continued his adventure. Ronald the Conqueror. Dude, this walkthrough on my map has a full scripted... has the full script in it, too. <laughs> Interesting. I can see that. This is actually a good game. I can see people actually, like, being fans. I don't know what to it's do worth, here. The physical copy of it's worth a little bit of money, it looks like. Not a ton. How much is it worth? I see one on here for, like, 70 bucks. 70 bucks? Dang. Most treasure games are worth a lot of money, though. Dude. You're in magical town now. I can tell, dude. Yeah, this is this place called Magical Town. Dude, this is hilarious, actually. The first level is called Magical Forest. Right? The third level that's after this is called Magical Sea. Magical like, what? Every level it has to be sea, like an ocean. Oh, okay. Dude, every level is magical something. Like, this level is Magical Moon. Magical Moon? Yeah, dude, that's the one. It turns out that's the last level. It only has four stages. Yeah, I think there's four stages in each level. Did you notice that? Like, I, I, I'm i on the... I don't know if I'm on the second or third goal. Oh, yeah, yeah. I meant to say four, four worlds. So yeah, know. yeah. Four worlds with four stages, maybe? Something yeah, like that. Something like that.
All right, all right, guys. Let's go. Let's. That's enough of this. Great game. Dude, you want to know something funny about this game? What? All the bosses. It's like the same deal. Like you have to let them steal one of your jewels and then attack them while they're eating the jewels. <laughs> oh, that's Every a shame. I was hoping it would be a different strategy. That'd be kind of cool when you talk to like a, a, a little McDonald's character that tells you the secret before each one. That would have been really cool. Missed opportunity. Yeah. Maybe next time, McDonald's. Maybe next time. All right. Sword of Sodan. Here we go. So some of you may be wondering if you came in later. Why does Nathan keep going back and playing Sword of Sodan if he hates it so bad? Why would he do that? Why would he do that to himself? <laughs> well, on this show, you uh, you spend $2 or more to get me to play a game. And if you spend a lot of money, then it is my responsibility to play the game more. And we have a wonderful community member who has decided to drop $40 tonight for me to play Sword of Sodan. So it is... Uh, he is my employer, you might say. So we were going to be so damning it up. <laughs> we're going to be trying our hardest. We did get to level four. Okay, so the zombies die. The spirits hurt you, so kill zombie and jump over spirit. Okay, if I can even make it there. Well, some of this I feel like is kind of luck. Like, when I jump to do my overhead. Are they going to beat the snot out of me? Or am I going to beat the snot out of... Oh, crap. Where's my button at? Okay, there it is. Okay, turn around. Oh my gosh. I just can't believe it. I just can't believe it. According to the walkthrough that I'm reading, it says you should play as the girl because the guy is slower and clunkier. All right, let's try. I did get further with the girl. And it's a large disadvantage according to this Feels walkthrough. Feels really bad. The but, girl only causes slightly less damage, making her the better character. I did get further with her. You gotta remember, I'm playing this on easy, also. Dude, it's with not. Seven lines. Dude, let me tell you something. This is not a skill issue. This is a piece of crap gameplay controls problem. Oh my gosh, why did it pick him? This is a piece of crap controls, is what the problem is here. Look, I, I made it. I made it to World Two of Ronald McDonald's Treasure Adventure. Obviously, I have the skills. All right, here we go. Oh my god! What? <laughs> this this guy riding this walker says, "I'm not trying to be condescending, but this game is." Should be viewed as a tactical game and not a hack and slash. Oh, uh, that, that, yeah, okay. I could see that, yeah. Because it is. The three main tactics that it says to use to play the game. There's three tactics in this tactical game. Yeah. Tactic number one back pedaling and thrusting. It says, imagine yourself as a fencer stepping back and forth and oh. only use and, and use only the thrust attack. Only right the ideally thrust. when you see an opening. This is effective against large groups of pikemen and axemen. It is ineffective against zombies or giants. Oh, really? So it's telling me to do this. Tactic number two. Okay. Offensive jumping and chopping. So this is an advanced technique. It is most successful against small groups oh my of pikemen. Gosh. All right. Zombies purely for its aggressive and pushing benefits in the graveyard and giants whom you must play aggressively against. The idea is that you close the range between you and the enemy, use your short range, high damage attack chop, and jump against the enemy when they are knocked back slightly, repeating the process over and over. Wait, what? That's what, it, that's what it says. <laughs> but this is the best part. Tac tactic number three. Oh, dang. Low thrust only. This is the coward's technique. I tried that. Against Pike. You can't beat its range. An axeman, if for some reason you are being extremely cautious, duck down in low thrust, ensure that you stand and backpedal when necessary against pikemen. Otherwise... You traded a bunch of low damage shots for a few wallops. Oh my gosh. Well, the pro uh, what does it say about when you're level? freaking surrounded and you literally can't do anything but die? Oh, 
it literally actually says up here at the beginning. I didn't actually read this part out loud, but it says, don't let that happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's their Great advice. advice. Great advice. <laughs> to try to avoid it from happening. Well, the game forces you into it because as you're trying to move forward, it will continue to sing guys from both sides. It takes forever to kill a bad guy. Man, this game is bad. It actually says that in here, too. <laughs> it actually says that. Oh. <laughs> this is so god awful, man. Like, this is my personal hell, you know? That you, I would yeah, rather, it looks rough, dude. you know, it like, looks rough. I can't imagine a worse punishment than having to play this piece of crap. It's so bad. Jeez, it's so annoying that this is a real game. They should have canceled it. They should have seen this and came in and been like, whoa, guys, this is a piece of trash. We canceled this. You're all fired. Turn around. The Vitalium potion increases your hit strength. Which one's that, though? I don't know. <laughs> okay, I got hit the strength Ethereum up. The potion combines with other potions. The Solarium potion is the magic zapper. And the Hydrium potion is restore stamina. And then it shows all the different combinations that you can use to make different stuff with the potion. Oh my gosh, dude. At the end of the walkthrough, unbelievable. it says that the potions play an important role, but the specific potions that drop from enemies are randomized, so yep. it's possible that you may not be able to finish a playthrough if randomly you don't get the right potions. Are you drop. freaking kidding me? That's what it says. What, what kind of horrible bullshit is that? Could you imagine? After going through this? Dude, these controls are so bad. Like, I can't even jump over this guy. So, like, it's one of those situations where, like, you can't get surrounded, but you can't do anything if you do. Maybe you can. But maybe you can't. And look at this. I hate how you have to be the exact pixel thing to even hit the guys. This game is bad. Dude, if you actually make it to the final boss, it looks, sounds like it's going to be brutal. Yeah, I guarantee it. Yeah, this is worse than Superman 64. It a hundred percent worse. This is literally just a bunch of BS. The controls are so god awful. Like this level, yeah, right, dude. Like yeah, right. You're going to dodge all these when they hit you, and there's nothing you can do about it. it knocks you into a spike. The spikes don't even have like a a real like strategy to them. They, I swear to God, they just pop up when they want to. It's not like you're deciding where you stand. It's not like the controls are good. You know what I'm saying? Like. It's not like you're actually doing anything. You're just praying to God that you don't die. That's all you're doing. You're just like, please don't come up until I kill this guy. And if I kill this guy, it depends on if it happens to be the right pixel level for me to hit him. According, according to this guy. Oh, my God. At the part, at the part that you're at, you must, you must constantly and consistently pay uh -huh. attention and move one hole to the left or right so that you are always standing on an empty hole. So while you're trying to fight those bad guys, you're supposed to be constantly going back and forth between left and right holes. Well, watch this middle one, though. Tell me the strategy on that. That one just stays going forever, and then it will just randomly pop up. See? Oh, my oh, gosh. It says, oh, my gosh. The middle hole appears empty. If you stand on it for too long, spikes will rise. Ah, and your life. I see. And then it says, obviously, this is not ideal. <laughs> oh, Thanks. my gosh. Let's try to drink one of these. No effect. Okay. Okay, go, go, go. All right, we're on level three. It says, stick to the thrusting tactics unless you are confident. See, the thrusting thing, uh... It doesn't seem to work so good for me. Seems like the jumping in their face and then overhead swipe seems to be my best tactic. When I stand like this, they just—I don't have the reach they do, so they beat the snot out of me. Know what I mean? Yeah. See, like his reach sucks. Well, these axemen's their reach kind of sucks too, though. Might be better for them. 
Except for when they get behind me and I can't move and do anything while they're beating the snot out of me. It just sucks because they keep coming. It, this game would not be as bad if, like, you could just steadily and slowly work your way strategically forward. And every once in a while, somebody came behind you. But the way this works is they just constantly do both. And you have to move forward or else you'll just be here forever. You know what I'm saying? Like, they'll never quit coming. So, like, you have to try to move forward, pushing more enemies on the screen, trapping yourself more. Oh, it's just freaking bad. Alright, let's drink whatever that is. Can't move, can't move, can't jump, can't do nothing. I totally stabbed that insect, didn't do anything. Turns out that's supposed to be a, a, a winged demon. <laughs> I like how he screams like a woman and then you kill him. He's like, ah! <laughs> At least that. Like, see, this will never end. I'll just be stuck here forever because the enemies just keep coming. I can't do anything. I can't progress. Taking the coward's way. Oh my gosh. There's so many winged demons on you. I know. Last time I swear there was only it one of them. It says in here that they don't appear in large numbers. Dude, I'm getting swarmed by them. Why now? Must be RNG like the rest of the game. Okay, there's one down. You have to wait for him to get in the right position, too. Like, I can't jump, so... Oh, oh okay, when he's up there, I can do the up, upward. Okay, okay, there we go. Better take a potion. Hope it does something. Magic zapper. How, how do I do that? Oh, my gosh. And another bug? This is ridiculous. All right, we gotta get... We can't let the... God, I hate this game. Come on, come on. You see, I can't even get away from them because the screen won't move. This is freaking awful! It's freaking awful! You're supposed to use solarium potions against them. What is that? <laughs> one of those random potions. Alright, I'm gonna take the blue one. And the red one. That seems like a good combo. Poison? Did I just poison myself? <laughs> well, oh my there's another try on the worst game I've ever played in my life. You got the high score again. I'm going to make sure I'm correct. I'm going to take a break straight from this game. And I'm going to play Superman 64 and tell you which one's worse. <laughs> I'm going to do a direct comparison. I can't imagine anything being worse than that. It's so stinking bad. Like, Superman 64 is bad, and the controls are bad, but it doesn't feel like one frame per hour bad. You know what I mean? Like, that. Yeah. there's, like, no animation in that game. It's like, it's like, <laughs> and it just feels awful. Like, as soon as you take control of the character and you move one time, you immediately know this game sucks. You know what I mean? All right, Superman 64. Let's see. Let's see which is worse. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a direct comparison. This is for science. Dude, it turns out there's tons of people that says it's the worst game they ever played. Does not shock me. I'm starting to think maybe you are getting trolled. All right. Let's do a new game. One player. There's multiplayer in Superman 64, by the way. In short time, your fate will be sealed, Superman. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Then there's no time to waste. All right. Let me see if I can remember how to do this. How do you even go forward? Okay, there it is. Yeah, guys. This sucks. But I can play it. You know what I'm saying? It sucks. It's, it's really bad. But look. I'm playing it. I'm not... Wanting to curse and rip my eyeballs out every five seconds. Dude, I found cheat codes. Oh, you did? For Sword of Sodan? Nuh-uh. 
Yeah. What are they? What do they do? Uh, there's one where you can uh, enable a cheat mode with unlimited lives. Ooh, okay. What else? And also, it makes it to where if you press enter, whatever that exactly means, it advances you to the next level. Okay, let's try the infinite lives and just see if we can beat the game. Dude, wait till you find out how you have to put it in. Oh, no. What do you have to do? <laughs> you actually have to play the game until you get to the screen where you're putting your name into the high score. <laughs> and then what do you have to do? Then you have to enter your you have to enter your name as Nancy. No, you're joking. No. Nancy? N A N C Y? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then what or, happens? If you don't want to do Nancy, you can instead enter your name as just Rad. Uh -uh. And it does the same thing. Are you serious? And that gives you infinite I'm lives? I'm serious. Yeah, it gives you infinite lives. I'm going to try it. And then the only other thing you can do is there's a name you can put in that makes you unlock a sound test. All right, here we go. Sword. Where you at? There it is. Sword of Sodan. All right, so we just got to die. Get to that part. <laughs> Witcher says the cheat code to make the game good is pull the power cord out of the wall. <laughs> that is true. All right. Let's do this, guys. Let's get to that high score, and then we're going to beat the game, finally. Yeah, I like Friday the 13th, by the way. On the NES, I owned that game. I liked Friday it back too. then. It actually scared me when I was a kid. Yeah, I thought it was kind of scary. Yeah, you'd be, like, exploring different cabins, and everything would be all nice and peaceful, and then randomly, the Jason would be in there. You'd be freaking out, like, oh, my gosh! All right, now that I know this, I'm, that I can, I'm going to be able to do this, I feel much better about it. it did you just let him kill you on purpose. No, I'm going to try to see how far I can get, dude. But now that I'm confident, maybe I'll do better. You know what I'm saying? Now that I'm not stressed oh, okay, out okay. about it. I might actually do good now because, that I know. Because when, when you do do the cheat code, it will start you back at level one. Right, right. See, look how good I'm doing now. Assuming this cheat code actually really works. I'm going to make my own strategy, guys. It says, how, how to enjoy sort of Sodan. Don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like, do not give any cares. Understand, it's really bad. Drink all the colors, but every time I drink a bunch of them, it doesn't do anything. All right, maybe red and yellow? If you drink four gray ones at the same time, oh. it makes you teleport to the next level. Oh, oh, crap. All right, let's try to do this the way that set the strategy said to do it. See, that's the problem, is the guys knock you back into it immediately. Oh my gosh. And plus, I swear to God, I don't know when they're doing it. I'm just going to run. Going back to mode strategy. We're just going to try to get through as quick as possible. Oh, that was close. I feel like he should die way faster with me using the fire on him. Turn around. Hydr Hydrium potion? Turn around, lady. Okay, now this is just the one we can't stand in too long. Like, I don't know what progresses the level. Do I need to go stand and get beat up to progress the level on the far side? Know what I'm saying? Feels like I do need to go over here. Okay, yeah, you do. Okay. All right, level three. Two blue. If you drink all four colors at once, it kills you and tells you winners don't do drugs. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. This game was made by Discovery Software. So someone said this was a port from an Amiga game, and that's probably why it feels so janky. Oh. Because it was like a keyboard type. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 
where you would just be like tapping a keyboard key. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day, the way it was just different. Yeah. I... I used to really like that Dungeons and Dragons game on the, on the computer way back in the day called Eye of the Beholder. Eye of the Beholder is a really good game. The Super Nintendo Those port was awesome. pretty good, dude. And if you had Mario Paint, you could use the mouse on it. Oh, really? That's yeah. Cool. And it was actually, like, made it really cool. Like, it made it, like, a really good port. Dude, they should do a new Eye of the Beholder. I know. They really should. Because I think there was like three or of them, maybe, back in the day. Yeah, I think I do remember the second one, but I don't think I played any of them except for the first one. And I never owned it. It was just something I would play at other people's house. or I think I rented it one time. Dude, you're not going to believe it, but the way how I found out and first played that game was from that frog guy. <laughs> that was the frog guy I told you about it? Yeah. Dude, that guy had a good taste in video game. games. Yeah, that guy had a good taste really in video did, games. really did, dude. He might be in, into frog toys, but he, he knew his games. What's crazy about that guy is, like, oh I didn't really understand this at the time, but it turned out he was, like, way more rich than I ever was. And his parents, li li he lived in this big house, and he had his own, like, you know how, like, kids have, like, a clubhouse or whatever? Yeah. Well, he didn't have a clubhouse. He had a log cabin, like a two-bedroom log cabin. That was his? Yeah, that was outside. That was like his play. Oh my gosh, dude. There we go. That's freaking awesome. As a kid? Yeah, dude, it was cool. Yeah, and it was like all decked out with video games and stuff. We'd be hanging out in there all the time. Oh, giants. I've still got four lives. This really is the best I've ever done. Oh my god. This game is just bad. It's so bad. It's so brutal, dude. It's brutal in, like, the bad way. You know what I mean? It's not, like, a good brutal game. You're like, oh, man, I almost had that. If, you know, if I'd have just did this or that, I could have did it. This game is just like, well, I died because the game sucks. Yeah, this ain't, this ain't no Elden Ring. Right. All right, we got the Giants. Right, this is a zombie level, so there's spirits? I didn't even notice the spirits. So the here's the crazy thing about this zombie level, dude. The main point is to try to get across as fast as you can. The zombies just keep come no matter what. Oh! So okay. So, like, your goal is ultimately... You get stuck to get on them. ...to the end of the level, but jeez, dude. They, you, you can't jump over them. They, like, get stuck on you. Like, I can't do anything yeah. right now. Okay, there we go. Oh, there was the spirits just got me. I think it's funny that, like, when you're jumping and fighting, that just will walk right past you. Oh, there goes the spirits. Got two lives left. I think I just Dude, heard a werewolf. To the end. Dude, oh, also, spirit, spirit! We need to be prepared that the cheat code actually turns out to only work on the Amiga. <laughs> oh, God, I hope not. I'm not sure. Oh, we made it! Level five. All right, level five. Never been here before. In the foyer. Oh, wait, you didn't make it to this one. Yeah, Gragamore. I'm in a castle. Yep. Whoa. Oh, crazy. Watch out for pit. Dude, as if this game didn't suck bad enough, they put a random hole, an invisible floor, just to kill you and waste one of your freaking precious lives in this piece of trash game. Like, how am I supposed to fight these now guys? more giants. If I walk over there, I will fall in the pit and die. And they won't come <laughs> oh over gosh. here. Because they don't want to fall in the pit and die. But if I jump over there, I will die because this game has that hit detection where I will hit them and fall in the pit. Oh, dude, I got bad news. This is absolute garbage. Who made this piece of trash? This is so stupid. Hey, dude, it gets worse. It gets worse. It gets worse than that? Yeah, because the cheat codes okay, I, I found in. are only for the Amiga version. So there's no Genesis? The only cheat code that works on the Genesis is one that lets you skip levels. 
and you have to do a uh, oh, well, second controller setup to use it. Dude, that is the worst level design I've actually seen in my life. Like, you have to fight them, which means basically just jumping across the pit and praying. Like, the, you know what I mean? Like, just swing your sword, because if they hit you one time, you're falling in the pit. You can't jump further. It won't let you do that. So all you can do is just jump to barely on the other side, if you're lucky. Because at one time, they were standing on the edge, so therefore, literally, can't do nothing. If you do jump across, you're barely, and I could see there's already a hole on the other side, like five feet away. So you're standing, and they hit you, and you fall in the hole, and you automatically die. It is on easy. It's horrible. All right. I've been released from the game. Man, that's so bad. Mm. All right. Dude, let's play a good game now. You want, you want to know something hilarious about that game, though? What? Remember that guy that you hit in the stomach? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That That's runs away? That's the final boss of the game. <laughs> like, wonder what, legitimately is. wonder why they made him just show up one time for, and then to run away. I don't know. And then you have to fight him again at the end, and, and you have to kill him by attacking him in his belly. Man. That game is rough. All right. It was so bad, I feel like I played it, and I didn't. I didn't play it at all, but I feel like I just did. I felt like I suffered second-hand suffering with that. Oh, it was bad. Man. That's one of the worst games I've ever played. And Dragon's Lair was the game I owned. It was the second game I ever owned. And I used to play the snot out of it. And although I will admit this game sucks, I got good at it as a kid. Like, I got pretty far. I never beat it, though. I never beat it. Oh, here's something I, I would like to show everybody. I wanted to beat everybody. the arcade version just to watch it. Because it's all animated. Oh, stuff, yeah. You know? I watched a guy who things. was good at it. You know, because he played it enough to where he knew the buttons, you know, and when to press them. Yeah. Um, I don't think he beat it, though. But he got really far. We all just sat and watched him one time. Okay, I'm going to show this to Steve. Steve, have you ever seen the Manhattan Project, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3? On the NES. I'm wanting to say that I have. Is it <laughs> rare or something? Uh, no, it was just, it came out, and I think the Super Nintendo stuff was already out, so a lot of people didn't play it. So, Witcher says, Grandel Reaper doesn't actually like this. He's just a sadist. He likes to watch other suffer, admit it. And then Grandel Reaper said, fine, I admit it. <laughs> 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 All right. You know, I'm, I'm wanting to say I, I, that I rented this game. That's play. what I did. I rented it. It was right before I got my uh, Sega Genesis. Yeah. This was like the the final game I remember renting before I got my Sega Genesis. And, and what was sad about... Th this game kind of makes me a little bit sad because all the people that I used to play... Um, we had, like, moved. So all the people that I used to play Nintendo with lived like hours away. And I didn't have any, it was like summer in between school. I had no friends. And this was the first Teenage Mutant, you know, well, that's not true. The first one was one player. It, arcade style like this that I had to play by myself. And I remember it made me kind of sad. I was like, I wish I had friends I could play this with. Yeah, that would make sense. Because I had so many memories of playing the other one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This one starts out on the beach, dude. We're in Costa del Sol. Dude, nice. <laughs> Look at the ice cream stand back there. That's how you know. I just finished up Gold Saucer when you first get there and do all that stuff. Uh, chapter 8 or Chapter... Is that what you're talking about? I think I'm technically on Chapter 9 now. I just got the, uh, the truck. Who'd you go on your date with in Chapter 8? Oh, well, I haven't got to that part yet, I guess. Wait, I mean the person you do the first little thing with. Like, the, who came to your door at night in Chapter 8 when you first got to Costa del Sol and went to sleep at the um, Haunted Manor or whatever? Oh, is that the person who you have to walk around and do stuff with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's considered For the me, first was... date. Oh, okay. Well, I ended up with Aerith. Oh, nice. I didn't mean to. 
Honestly. Yeah, it's just whoever's highest at that point. And that one's not the real deal. Is that gonna be my date no, no what? whoever's the highest when you get to the real part, mm -hmm. that's who will go with you. Whoever's the highest. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I'm, I just got out of there after doing the Chocobo race and all that stuff. And got the truck. And oh, I that part was cool. That. I like that part where you go into the... Uh, that underbelly of the... Oh, and yeah, the dunes and meet those really cool. gangsters. That main guy. Something ridiculous and awesome about him. Yeah, that was cool. Alright. Now it's time for another game that some people have bad memories with. But I actually like this game. Like, yeah, it's too hard. I really like it's this Sort game. of so damn. No, team. Be hilarious. Be hilarious. <laughs> Went back and played that. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, man, the original. Dude, this game is hard. Yeah, it is hard. Third game this I game ever owned. Brutal, dude. I, I, mean, I played the crap out of this game when I was a kid, but dude, it's hard. It's brutal. I got to the um, what was it called? The big metal thing that Shredder and Craig have. The metal Technodrome. Oh, what, what was, was that thing called? I think what was it, it called? I think it's called the Technodrome. It is called something like it. I think that's what it's called. I made it to that, but I couldn't beat it when I was a kid. That was the furthest I ever made it. There was a part I, that took me forever to figure out this game. There's a part where you have to use a rope to get across of a, uh, a building or something like that. And dude, it took me forever how to figure out how to use the rope for some reason when I was a kid. Like there's, I, something, there's something in this game, and maybe that's it. That's considered. That's like a basically like a. You needed to call the Nintendo helpline. It might have been that part. Dude, it's it kind took of me like forever. Castle, Castlevania, Simon's Quest. Because I had like a Nintendo Power that told me that's what I had to do or something, but I couldn't figure out how to do it, and none of my friends could even get that far. So I was on my own. Oh crap, here he is. Let's get on with those ninja stars as many times as I can. Oh no! I timed that wrong. Okay, I'm gonna switch to another turtle. Let's get uh, Donatello out. I don't remember if you can jump up on the edge of that or not. Got him! April, no! Yeah, Done. getting a shredder, yeah. Brutal, bro. I think you can kill this guy from down here. Oh, he has to be woken up. That's what it is. You have to walk away, then walk over. There we go. Yeah, I played the snot out of this game as a kid. Yeah, me too. My only three games for a while was Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt, D Dragon Lair, and this game. One pizza, bro. Like, literally kill half your squad. I don't remember where you're supposed to go. I don't either. I know you gotta go, it's pretty much to that, the water level where you gotta, the bombs, where you're on a time limit and there's all the electric things you gotta avoid. It's really. I'm having flashbacks of the Goonies game on Nintendo now. Goonies? We played that on here one time. Isn't that the game there was no first Goonies game? It was just a Goonies 2? 
Yeah, but there's no Goonies 2 movie. There's just... <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> oh, the fire guy. Oh, shoot. Watch out for that guy. Who's saying it didn't meet expectation? Most people say it did. Oh, it's the frog guy. Get out of there, Leo. Oh, let's switch him. Get back out, Don. Donatello, boom. It's so weird that you hear so like, because so I'm gonna have to go ahead and tell you it's a long time huge Final Fantasy fan, but it exceeded my expectations. Me too. There's only one thing we're not gonna talk about in chat. Because it's a spoiler. One thing that yeah, I could have done without, that. and that's it. That's it. It's But I explained after I beat it why that it's there, in my opinion, which I think is an acceptable reason to be there. We'll have to talk about whatever that is once I do it. Yeah, we definitely will. No spoilers, chat. He hasn't beat it yet. Very big deal. Don't spoil it. Like, I don't know what some of these creatures were supposed to be in the, uh... In the yeah, Turtles I think, I think, universe. I think we're seeing a lot of non-canon bad guys in this. Yeah. Like, why isn't there just a bunch of foot soldiers? Or oh, here we go. I think after this is that water level. I think you gotta beat it. Like, you could argue that those flying things were just Baxter stock. Oh, true. And the frog but, guy, he was one of my favorites. I don't remember his name, but there was a frog guy. I had the toy. Yeah. Bebop and Rocksteady. The fire guy, though, I don't know what that's about. No, but it feels like it could have been in it. You know, a guy made a fire. Yeah, it could have been, sure. It feels like, you know. Maybe. I remember getting an argument with the guy on the school bus because he was saying that April Neal was naked. I was like, no, she's not. She, she, you idiot. She has a yellow freaking shirt. That's what she wears. You idiot. And he was like, no, she's naked, Her dude. The whole thing was, she was like they wearing a yellow jumpsuit. The whole thing was yellow. Yeah. He was like, dude, she's naked, I'm telling you. I was like, she's not naked. You're stupid. It's like they wouldn't make her naked. It's a kid's game. <laughs> we got, like got in a really big argument on the school bus. We got in trouble. We got sent to the principal's office about it. That's like Thank you guys. Just need to resolve your problem. What's the issue again? <laughs> it was like he keeps saying that April O'Neil was naked, and he was like, uh, "And who's April O'Neil? Is she one of the students here?" <laughs> <laughs> Like, no, dude. It's the reporter from Ninja Turtles. She's friends with them. <laughs> she helps the turtles out. She knows who they are and their secret base, but she doesn't tell anybody. She's obviously an ally. <laughs> She's trustworthy, okay? There's no way she'd be hanging out with Bebop and Rocksteady naked. What are those little things called again? Uh, rat. Something walking down there. Rat something. Huh? Yeah, rat, trap, rat. They're the ones that came and got Splinter in the very first episode. Rat. Hang on, I can't. Mouse, mouse. Mousers or something. Mousers or, yeah. Oh, th is this that part where you gotta do that weird jump? Is this the part of the angry video game nerd got stuck on for like seven hours? Oh, yeah, I think it might be. Hang on. No, this one you can just jump up here. That's not it yet. Some of these jumps are tricky, though. Oh, snap. Hang on. Gotta get down there just right. Raphael's the worst one in this game. I want to at least get to the damn part where you're doing the bombs. If I can. Like, what the heck are those W things, you know? Oh my oh, gosh. No. Oh crap. I'm getting beat up bad. Oh! What's over here? It's crazy because back when I was like, oh, there is a pizza over here. Nice. 
I used to know where all the pizzas were. And I think you could go up and go back down and stuff like that. Couldn't you? You can't. You could. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you could. There's a lot of little tricks we used to do back then. This is the jump he got stuck on, I think. No. I think it is. No, maybe not. That was too easy. Ah, uh, here we go. This is where you start fighting out in the in the outworld. Like, I thought this was cool as crap, dude. I did too, actually. It, uh, felt like something new. Mm-hmm. Felt like real exploration. Here we go. Let's see if we can do it. Like, this was no big deal to me as a kid. But now I don't remember where they're all at, so... Oh, crap. So it might actually be hard now. Oh, that gives you air, right? What does? That thing that you just swam up to and hooked on earlier. Uh, it's... You're, you're getting rid of the bombs. You have to get them all before that time limit, that two-minute time limit's up. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's what it is. Whoa. It's the bomb. You're disabling the bombs. Oh, shoot, I hit the electric thing. It's really about knowing where they are, which I don't remember this now. This swimming animation is pretty cool. For yeah, it controls decent too, I think. Okay, I think there's one over here. Yep, yep, yep. Did remember that. Go, go, go. Good music too, I gotta say. Even though they like totally made it up, you know what I mean? Oh, snap. Yeah. I've got a lot of health. And then I think... Oh, this is the part that's hard, dude. Oh my gosh, I used to be good at this. Oh no! Crap! Dang, dude. That All was right. crazy. That was hard. I used to be so good at it. All right. Dude, what's crazy is this game has like multiple sets of sprites with animations for the turtles because of all the different styles of areas that it's you're true, dude. top down view the swimming one was totally different than the just running walking around like normal it's true for, oh for and while. by the way grand Ole reaper those cells units are stupid comparing the cells units are dumb let me explain why of course Final Fantasy VII Remake sold 703,000 copies in Japan. We're talking about Japan. We haven't seen the full sales numbers yet. And only sold 263,000 for Rebirth. Everybody in Japan had a PS4 when Remake came out. It came out towards the end of its lifespan. It came out in 2020. One year before the PS5 came out. You know what I'm saying? Everybody who was going to get a PS4 had a PS4 when Final Fantasy VII Remake came out. Rebirth is on the PS5. Not as many people have that, especially in Japan. <clears throat> if they would have wanted bigger sales at launch, they would have needed to release on more platforms. You know what I'm saying? They made the decision at Square to put it only on the PS5, knowing that would hurt sales, right? But they were okay with that, right? Now, when we see the American sales and worldwide sales, it's going to go way up. I know Final Fantasy 16 got more, but Final Fantasy 16 is also a brand new Final Fantasy where this is a remake, right? So, and also, mm -hmm. this game will pass up 16 in time. If not already, as soon as they count worldwide sales, it may. So it's just a little different. It's just a little different. It makes sense to me. I saw everybody reporting on that and acting like that was so crazy. And it's like, guys... Comparing 16 like and 7... About everything now, they do. Know. Everybody's looking for any reason... Like oh, it was it was it wasn't good. It's a bunch of like Xbox kids who like want to get off on a PlayStation exclusive doing bad. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, let's try to find something really Weird. dumb. You said you want to play something really dumb. Yeah, I want to find something that's just incredibly stupid. Oh, dude, I actually remember now what the game was that I tried to pay you to play last time. What was it? It was Spy vs. Spy. Oh, on the NES. That's that game where you, like, set up traps and all that, right? Yeah, but, dude, we should actually do that when we figure That's out a two how to play player the game, game on multiplayer. It's so that game is actually really fun on multiplayer. That is a good multiplayer game. We'll try to figure that out before next one. Uh, let's see. What's a really stupid game? 
What about this? Rockin' like Cats. A, like a, Anybody ever heard of that? Other than bo Booger Man? <laughs> Booger Man? You ever heard of Rockin' Cats? No. Me either. Let's see if it sucks. Let's see what that's about. Oh my gosh, dude. This already looks so dumb. <laughs> the controls are good. Look at that punch. Yeah. Atlas Soda. Oh! Oh! That's kind of cool. For NES. Uh -huh. Now they're throwing flowers at me. Dude, this is a rocking... This is the OG persona. <laughs> Bullets. Root beer. Oh. Oh, I, I got her by doing that. This is like the first furry game. <laughs> this is a furry game. It is, actually. You're right. Well, that didn't work. Oh, whoa, that guy's on me. Get off of me, dude. Yeah, what the heck? This, that guy was a pervert. For real. Oh, wait a minute. How do I do that? Oh, you can jump on this and shoot a little water thing out of it. Oh, okay. This game actually is good. Rockin' Cats, man. That Rockin' one, Cats, dude. By Atlas. Hopefully it gets a sequel. <laughs> That'd be the weirdest news of all time. Okay, that's how you get past that hole. Shoot him with the water. Get a hose down them perverts. Take a shot of water! Oh, dang it. <laughs> there we go. You gotta actually aim those right. This is the game that gave him the idea to make Bionic Commando. <laughs> I bet this came out after it, wouldn't you think? But Bionic Commander yeah. seemed like it was like OG from my memory anyway. I don't remember what 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 was that on? Nintendo? Was it? It was on was it NES, old? yeah, yeah. And it seemed like it was an remember earlier for some game. Reason. It's from what I remember. I just couldn't remember. All right. If we want to play something stupid, let's go to 32X. <laughs> hmm. Let's try... Let's try uh, a, a let's try a boxing game, Tough Man Contest. You guys remember Butterbean? <laughs> what... Yeah. Dude. It's, it's in the game. Oh, it's an EA game. Oh boy. EA Sports. It's in the game. Are you tough enough? <laughs> Tough Man Contest, butter featuring Butterbean. Okay. Can I skip this? It's gonna make it made me watch it. All right, uh, exhibition, one player. All right, PJ Rock, TK O'Reilly, Heroes Second Tommy, Coolio, Jadfar oh. El Hadid. Yeah, dude, Coolio Lock. Well done. I don't know about him. Coco Valdez, Jacob, Joe Wildhawk, Biff Blue. There's kind of a lot of characters. Nikolai, Diego, Havana, Yang, Sydney, Gavin, Rigo, Freddy, Chang Fu, Bruno, dang, Hans, Charlie. Ooh, they got the mustache. He's got a super up uppercut. I'm picking him. Charlie Ponderosa. 
Roman Coliseum presents Charlie Ponderosa versus Gavin Grayson. I got Jesus. my bets in. What's that? So I got my bets in. <laughs> Who are you betting on? I'm betting on Gavin. <laughs> it's probably a good bet. Just in case if this game's hard. <laughs> Greetings, everyone. I'm not reading this. Oh! Jeez. Dang, son. Look at them pixels. Jeez. Oh, oh jeez. It <laughs> immediately started kicking my ass. I don't know the controls yet. Let's see. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Dude, he's going so fast. <laughs> I know. I wasn't expecting it. I was expecting to be a little more strategic. <laughs> I feel like it's like I'm three times speed or something. He's whooping my ass. I can't even... I like the lions back there roaring. That's a good touch. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a duck. Okay. He's a little dangerous, but. Oh, there's my super epic. I'm down. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. How do I get up? Come on, he can't be down. He went down one time. He can't get. Okay, there we go. Just like punch out on crack. <laughs> Yeah, it's really fast, dude. Oh my gosh. I can't even know if I hit the guy. Hang on. Instant replay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's funny that that's an option. Oh, that's interesting. You can, like, go slowly through and be like, hmm, okay. Let me see here. Yep. I ducked that one. I weaved. Okay. All right. All right. That's kind of cool that you could, actually you can do that rewind like that. It's not going to help me at all. Corner man. Come on, Charlie. What are you doing out there? Gavin's going to hurt you badly if you don't move your feet. His power hook is killing you. If you want to get back in this fight, you're going to have to surprise him. Your left jab to the body is the only thing that's working for you. He'll be looking to protect his body, so don't be afraid to hook to the head. Let's go now. Take it to him. I don't even know how to do that. All right. What is with the outline? What outline? Oh, Talking that's you. oh, that's just so you can see the boxer. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like super oh. punch up. Oh, I got a good hit. I dodged that. Oh, 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 that was pretty good. Oh, oh, super punch out was like that, right? Yeah, yeah, super punch out was like that too. It was kind of popular. I think there was a Hollyfield game like that also, if I remember right. It's kind of the most popular way they could figure out how to do it back then. So you can still see the, the guy. Yeah. Oh, I saw a tooth fly out on that hit. Oh, dang, oh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I've had enough. It's, it's, I can't, I can't, uh, can't tell what the hell's going on. Dude, if you want to play a real stupid game, go to the Super Nintendo and play one of those Cheetos games. Oh. It's a Super Nintendo. <laughs> Uh, Cheeto? Uh, Chester Cheeto, maybe? Yeah, Chester Cheeto is probably... I think there was two of them. Yeah, here we go. There is two of them. There's uh, Too Cool for Something and Wild Wild Quest. Play Wild Wild Quest. Jake Paul's going to fight Mike Tyson. It's kind of messed up for them to come after people when they're like 58 years old. You know yeah, what I mean? what's crazy too is apparently there's all these insane rules to the fight that gives them an advantage over Mike Tyson, supposedly. Wow. See, that's messed like, up Like apparently, me. I, I could be, this could not be real, like where I saw this might have been not real information, but... Apparently, there's like a rule where he can call in for backup and his brother can come help him fight Mike Tyson at the same time. Wow. It just makes me mad because let's say just because he's young and in better shape, which I don't know if he is or not. He might not be. Mike Tyson's in pretty good shape. But Mike Tyson's 58 <laughs> years old. And let's say he beats him and then he'll be like, I beat Mike Tyson. Like, shut up, dude. He's 58 years old. You know? That doesn't mean nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah, plus, apparently, Jake Paul gets to wear a headgear and Mike Tyson doesn't. 
Dude, I hope Mike Tyson. I hope he, I hope Mike Tyson destroys him, dude. Dude, I did too. I hope he absolutely. I, th I hope it's pathetic. That's just so dumb. Like for a young person to even want to fight somebody that's 58 years old. You know what I mean? Just for clout. Just, yeah. so, just so he can hopefully say, I beat Mike Tyson. That's just so dumb, man. All right, first boss, a little granny. Oh, dude, look at those legs, dude. What? <laughs> Why did she just make that noise? Did you hear that? No. She was like, oh. When I hit her. I'm getting it's destroyed. It's so crazy get that they made games like this back then. <laughs> yeah, all the mascots got games back then. Even Chip and Brands. Look at them. Look at that lady, dude. This seems so Something disrespectful to the elder look at my this. <laughs> For a game that is from the Cheetos brand. Look, not only did he get this game, but he got that other game too. <laughs> he got two games. Oh, crap. I'm not sure how to... Maybe there's a run with the double tap or something. This is old granny is kicking my ass. Okay, I got her, got her. Alright, now we gotta watch out for her fall. I can't get out of the way of her and she follows me. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure to get past old granny. Alright, let's try the other cheetah. Chester let's cheetah. Try the other, let's try the other. Dude, I think this one actually is better. This is the better of the Jasper Cheetah games. I think it might be. It's the same developers, though, it looks like. All right. Too cool to fool. Four Corners Zoo Park. Which one came out first? I'm not sure. Oh, this looks way better. I bet you this came out after. The other one didn't look bad. Oh, he did the I, I, I. <laughs> Dude, they actually spent some, like, you know what I mean? Like, they spent some money making this game, like, it's wasn't just for no reason, you know what I mean? Yeah, every, every, everybody got a game back then. Like, every movie, every... Every... Food company. <laughs> you know who didn't get a game, dude? Who? Jolly Green Giant. Dude, they I'm surprised in a way. I had no they idea got a game. how to do anything. This jumping doesn't yeah. do anything. I don't know how this game works. I'm pressing all funny the buttons. ran over by the steamroller, though. Yeah, let's see. I don't know how to attack them. I don't know what to do. Seems like jumping on things doesn't hurt, and <laughs> that's all I can do. There's no other buttons. It's just jump. <laughs> that's kind of crappy. Oh, you gotta use the turtle. That's what it is. Well. I think. Did that kill me? What's going on right now? Dude, I'm, 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 I'm a shadow? In a hole? Did I go under the sand? Maybe. <laughs> what the heck, dude? This is like a glitch. <laughs> I just found the speedrun cheat. Dude, I'm just gonna beat the game like this, I guess. Dude, that's hilarious. <laughs> There's a little shadow, and that's all. Dude, I'm invincible now. That's hilarious. What the heck? Dude, this is this is the easiest game I played all night. 
<laughs> it's a boss. Oh man, that's hilarious. What's gonna happen now? Some kind of glitch. It's a boss. <laughs> Can't yeah, what are you supposed to do? How will you beat it? <laughs> Maybe I can pop. Oh, he's gone. He gave up. No, he quit. You realize? I'm gonna go down there somehow. <laughs> Dude, I'm just gonna keep going this way. Dude, how long is this level? It's a really long. Okay, there we go. Well, I can't beat the level. Oh, man. oh no. What the? What the? I can't beat the level. I'm dead. Uh, I guess I lost. <laughs> well, that game uh, needed some better coding, I guess you could say. <laughs> I wonder how common that glitch is. Yeah, there was a bunch Just of Ren and Stimpy games. Said, didn't it, Ren and Stimpy make him? Yeah, there was a bunch of them. Uh, let me see if I can Dude, remember the good was ones. the one that was a beat -em up Which one was that? Was it on Super uh, Nintendo? I don't remember. I don't remember. It there might was... have been the one that was on the Genesis. Because from what I remember, I might be wrong, but I think there was like, there were Super Nintendo Ren and Stimpy games, and then there was Genesis ones, and there was none that were on both that I remember. But I could be wrong about that. Uh, I'm going to go down to I think it, you're Ren. right about that, or at least partially right. Or at least mostly right. There might have been a few. Here they are. So on Super Nintendo, there's Ren and Stimpy show, um, Buckaroos, Fire Dogs, Time Warp, and Vidiots. I think Vidiots is the one that I'm talking about. Let's try it. I had one on Game Boy, and I had one on Genesis, but I have to look at it and remember which ones. If this is the one I was thinking of, then this was my favorite one. Yeah, some of them sucked, and some of them were good. But it might not be. It might not be the one. The Boy Who Cried Rat. Yeah, this is the one where you go through different episodes. No, this episodes. is not the one I was thinking of. I remember this, and this was hard, bro. Yeah. There's, like, traps. And... So it's like, grab me. Oh, oh, there's a trap. I'm trying to figure out what that one was called that I liked. Hey, Look, it's Muddy Mudskipper on the TV. Hey, Stimpy will mess you up on this level. Is this the level where he's the cat and you're the rat? Oh, it's Log! I'm gonna mess you up, Stimpy. Take that. Okay, the one that I would like, I guess, is called Time Warp. Oh, Time Warp, okay. I don't know if I've played that one. We'll try it. I'll know. I definitely played this one. I want to say this is the one I had on Game Boy, also. And I played it all. I played the Game Boy one all the time, just because it was running Stimpy. It wasn't even that good. Hey, Ren. Yeah, I had this one, too, and I had Fire Dogs. Oh, no! Put the freaking thing on me. Oh, crap, trap. Where he has oh, oh crap! He got me. He got me. You idiot! Okay, so Time Warp was the one you liked? Yeah, I liked that one. It was cool, too, because you could play it on co-op. So me and Dave would be playing it. Let me see if I played this one or not. I don't know. THQ made it. They were good back then. Yeah, dude, this is a pretty decent beat-em-up game. Fancy intro for 16-bit. Fire dogs and you could so like. Bad. You could, like, jump on each other's backs and stuff and do, like, combo attacks and cool stuff like that. I think I remember that. Yeah, THQ went out of business. They made a lot of good games. Like, they weren't... Like, they had some stinkers, but it seemed like they tried. They made a lot of good wrestling yeah. games. From what I remember. And so it came to pass, as other great events do, the Ren Stimpy were watching the tube... 
You too can earn your, earn your very own time machine. Just send 47 million gritty kitty proofs of purchase to me, Muddy Mudskipper. Joy. Oh, joy, Stimpy exclaimed. What is it, man? Wren mumbled. Can we... Wait, all we need are 47 million gritty kitty proofs of purchase to get the time machine. And off they go on a grand quest. Gritty kitty. No, I never played this one. Gritty, this is a good one. It's awesome on two players. Supposed to be. There we go. I don't know where my health is. Great animations in this one, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I remember when you played it on two player, you could like pick up Stimpy and throw him at throw him at those fences and knock him down real easy. Ah, uh, see, I'm getting beat up by the fences. I don't know, I'm not sure how to do that in one player. Fire Dogs was man, yeah. I remember that, and I thought I'm pretty sure the Buckaroos one was another one I thought was really awful. Yeah, I didn't like that one either. Uh, all right, I'll try Itchy and Scratchy. We'll call we'll do that one and then we'll call it. Um. Itchy and scratchy. I don't know if I played. This. I didn't remember that they got their own game. Yeah, I feel like I remember seeing reason. commercials for it, like in magazines. Maybe. Yeah, that makes that sounds. That sounds like something legit. I, I used to really like the comics that were a uh, Bartman. Do you remember those? They were the yeah. whole comic would be about Bartman. I used to love those comics when I was a kid. And they did Radioactive Man comics. Yeah, too. yeah. And I want to say, I bought Radioactive Man number one by, like a grocery store. Yeah, that's where I would get them at as a grocery store. It'd be like Kroger's or something. Yeah. And the Ren and Stimpy comics I like too. I tried to get all of those when I was a kid. I had a ton of them. Yeah, I had a bunch of those too. Those were good. They were really good. In a lot of ways, they were better than the cartoon. Yeah. Okay. Am I just fighting them, I guess? Oh, okay, it's a platform. Okay. Let's see, jump. Okay, I've got different weapons. Oh, crap. Got him. Oh my gosh, you won't quit harassing me. Those are a little slippery. Mm. Oh crap. I don't know how to get up there. Hang it. Dude, how the hell are you supposed to get up there? I'm running really fast for some reason. Running around and, and, and the cat's trying to kill you the whole time. Yeah, he chases me. Can I go in that door? Oh, okay, I can. I don't know if the point is to just kill him more times he kills you, or if there's a end of the level, or. Kind of seems like I'm just running in circles. 
Now I disappeared. Yeah, I'm back here again. What the heck are you supposed to do in this game? Oh, I died. What are you supposed to do? But you just have to live. And that's the only purpose. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't say this is good. The controls are really slippery. Like, it, it doesn't feel right. It feels like you're just sliding everywhere. And I... The purpose of the game eludes me. Alright, so it's in this door. Based on the show, maybe we're just supposed to kill him more a bunch of times. Yeah, oh, he does have health up there. It's like a boss, kind of, maybe. There's also, like, a timer happening. Whittling down his health. It's gonna take forever. Look how slowly his health's going down. Right. And do you have to do it before that timer runs out? Runs out I, I think so. This is not good. I mean, it's not like sort of so damn bad, but... <laughs> you imagine they tried to release a game like this now, but... Alright, alright. That's gonna take a million years to kill that guy. Steve, have you seen... Have you seen the best cutscenes in the whole world? Where's the game at? Have you seen this yet, Steve? Shinobi Legions. I don't think so. Dude. Can you hear the audio in the in the uh in the stream? N no, but I can I can turn it up. Yeah, you definitely want to hear this, bro. This is if I can make it there, which I I, I probably can, dude, this is <laughs> dude, you're in for a treat. You're in for a treat. <laughs> this is so <laughs> freaking good, bro. <laughs> It's unbelievable. I gotta beat this game. I gotta see all those cutscenes, dude. Alright, let's give ourselves some max shurukens. So as far as it goes, 100. Put on easy. Okay, shuriken, katana jump. Okay. I have to finish this game, dude. I have to. I have to see. Okay, first cutscene. Maybe. I don't remember if it starts with one or not. And this is actually a good game, too. What's crazy is actually it's fun. It's a good game. Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay. Every cutscene, it gets more ridiculous, dude. Every cut It starts out, and you're like, oh, okay, all right. <laughs> and then every cutscene, dude, it gets a little bit zanier. Is that a real guy? Yeah, this is like the old school, like, Mortal Kombat technology. Oh, I got the, yeah. And then they used real actors for the cutscenes. <laughs> <laughs> it is outrageous! Like... This is like... MMO cop, eat your heart out. Kinda action <laughs> here in a minute, dude. Oh, shoot. Oh, dang it. Gotta actually get good to make it. If you can at least just make it to that one fight scene, I'll be happy enough. Oh, sweet. Here we go. It's like a good Shinobi game. Yeah, it looks like it. A lot of people didn't play because it was only on Sega Saturn. Alright. 
just like all the good Sega Saturn games. Like, this is probably actually my favorite Shinobi game. I've got to beat it. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, the controls are really responsive, and um, even though it's using that... Everything looks real smooth. It's smooth, yeah. And it looks better in real life, you know what I mean? It looks really good. I'm not doing so hot. I'm out of practice now. This is a very skilled game, just like the old Shinobis. Like, you get good the more you play it. Crap, 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 crap. The dragon. Boom. Dang. So powerful. Here we go, here we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Dang it. I need help up. Shoot. Oh yeah, I've been not even I thought those were bombs. Forgot those are good. Crap, come on. I gotta be able to beat it. Give me, give me some help. Oh, dang it! Man, I really want to get this cutscene so bad. I'm doing awful. Probably gonna have to practice the game and then come back. At least you started pretty close to where you were before you died. Did I? Yeah, you're right, I did. Yeah. This is a game I need to cheat for so I can actually beat it. Oh, dang it, I was ducking. I was trying to. Oh, look, I love how you can, like, chop the trees down and stuff as you're fighting. Yeah, cool. You'll see, like, background damage. Oh, I thought that was a power-up. Alright. Boss time. I don't remember how to beat it. <laughs> I have to re-remember. Re I don't remember. Oh, shoot. Oh, that. Look at that. Right. Okay, okay. What's it doing? What's it doing? Oh, fire, okay. Crap, here we go again. All right, all right. Oh, oh, oh. Crap, I hit the horn. We almost got him, we almost got him. Uh, don't remember how to dodge that. We almost got him! Come on, more! Oh, we got him, we got him! Woo! All right, so I think we get a cutscene for that. Stage one clear. Are you gonna play oh, Elden Ring DLC? Uh, yes, definitely. All right, here's the first cutscene. Here we go. ご覧ください。<笑> 
Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, the next cutscene, if it's the one I think it is, it's so good. That as soon as I see it, I was like, I'm going to beat this game. This is incredible. <laughs> All right. I, just got, I think this is the tree level, yeah. This one's a little, a little difficult, so hopefully I can get past it. Okay, we gotta start climbing these trees. Like, this is a badass ninja level, you know? Yeah, that's crazy. Dang it, I messed up. Oh no! Dang it. Crap! Let's try going this way. Ninjas coming out of everywhere. Oh, shoot. I wish I remembered. Okay, oh, you can block. That's how you do it. Hang on. And then that, and. There's just... Oh, shoot. They come back. I didn't know that. Oh, dang it. We we're almost there. I could see the top. Okay, maybe go this way. Figure out how to get up there. There it is. Sweet. Yeah, I wonder if these are, like, classic, like, Japanese somethings, you know what I mean? That's what it seems like. Pretty sure. Do I have to climb more? I don't remember. I thought I thought I just killed some guys up here. Oh, I guess I gotta keep climbing, my bad. Oh, piece of crap. Dang it. Oh, jeez. I didn't remember that. Okay, how do we get up there? Oh, sweet. Got a power up. I've got no health left. This is not good. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, dang it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this tonight. Let's see where it starts me at. Okay, not bad. Alright, where is it? Where's the tree? We gotta get to at least this next scene. Oh, dang it. Freaking fell down. Okay, we gotta go this way. Way to the left. All right, we're almost there, I think. Oh no! No! Dang it, dude! No! I freaking fell!
Oh my gosh, go up there. Okay, here we go. We're almost there, we're almost there. There it is, there it is. Alright. Boss. Oh, it's like a rocker ninja. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> okay, I can remember how to block. There we go. I'll take it. I love when it gets hit. His hair goes flying. It's like, <laughs> <That's hilarious. laughs> like, dude, I need this character in my mocha. Oh, he's trying to do a tornado move on me. Oh, we got him. Please let that be it, and we can see the ball, the scene. Oh no, there's a little. Oh, I remember. There's a couple of bosses. Oh, oh wait, we just gotta. Let's gotta hit those heads. Remember this. Okay, there's one down. Ooh. Got him. Now for the next, his rocker brother. I think this guy's way harder if I remember right. That's hilarious. We got him, we got him! Oh, that's close. That was close. <laughs> Alright, stage two. Please let this be the same. Please let this be it. <laughs> Please. Sure. Sure. Wait. This is it, dude. Oh, I think it's it. Oh, yeah. Oh, snap. No, it's the next cutscene. Dang it! It's when you get there. Oh man, come on, I gotta make it! Come on, I gotta make it past stage three. I got to. We got to see it. How many lives I have left? Like four, I think. Okay, maybe. Oh my gosh, dude! But there's something hilarious. This level is unbelievable. I'm, I forgot. I forgot until I've seen the level. It's unbelievable, dude! It's absolutely <laughs> the most absurd thing I've ever seen in a video game in my whole life. Don't tell him, chat. I like, Don't. The, I like how the bad guys like are leaving like a TV lying around. They got what now? They're leaving those TVs lying around to feed you more information. <laughs> yeah, look, dude! It's a freaking, a freaking brontosaurus <laughs> comes in, dude. From the, like, why? Dude, what is that? A <laughs> brontosaurus? I think. It's obviously just like a toy. They just like, you know, got like a JPEG up. <laughs> put some eyeballs on it. Like, it's why? A, it's a brontosaurus. <laughs> like, out of all the dinosaurs. Why well, make it a brontosaurus? They were, thought they were peaceful dinosaurs, first of all. <laughs> yeah. I forgot what you do with these blue things. There's something, like, every time you get 10, you get an extra life or something like I can't remember. Oh, maybe, because now you have five lives. Yeah, maybe that is what it is. It's something like that. 
can't remember that. I haven't played in a while. Forgot all the strats. These guys are a pain. Ultimate attack. Okay, now how do I get up there again? Is it double jump? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think this level's too, too bad. If I remember right. Oh, there's like dinosaurs in the background and stuff too. Oh, is there? Oh, you're right. Yeah, I didn't look, even notice like that. Rex back, back there. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice that, dude. You're right. Interesting. It's like they're doing some kind of dinosaur, like Jurassic Park experiments in here. But there's like they're big. There's tons of them. Back yeah, there. you're right. Nice. They're gargantuan. I know. Let me see that guy. I got a health here. They're like making humans into reptilian gargoyles or something with dinosaur DNA, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Oh, dang it. This is just like Jurassic Park. It's dino DNA. They will find a way, dude. They will. Life will find a way. <laughs> That's what I told my wife. She's like, I'm thinking about getting another, you know, like when something happens to one of our pets, maybe instead of having two dogs, we'll have two cats. And I was like, I don't want them to have kittens, you know what I'm saying? So we gotta be careful with that. She's like, no, they'll both be fixed. And I was like, no. Life will find a way. <laughs> <laughs> well, here he's back. I've only got one bug oh, left of my health. Oh, a I barely beat him, dude. I got one block of health. I need some help. Pronto! We got another life, though. We got six lives now, so I'm feeling pretty confident. Okay, we got time this right. Whoops. Oh, I forgot you can wall jump. Oh, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, stupid ninjas. Oh, I got some health back, nice. Ooh. Okay, now where do we go? Hmm. Hmm, I won't see where to go. Maybe we can jump up further this way? No. Interesting. Okay. We can figure this out. Where are we supposed to be going here? Did it seem like there was a spot back up there where you could jump up over to the right? Where I was? All the way back up there, yeah. Okay, okay. So I didn't see anywhere else to go. Oh, like, shoot. I bet you have to wall jump to do it. Maybe. Like, right. Oh. Dang it. Uh, you're gonna see what I'm Dang talking it. about. I bet. Get up there. I'm getting stuck. Okay, oh there we gosh. go. Okay. Oh, right here. Oh, I think you're right. I can just double jump up there, maybe. Oh, nice. I didn't even notice this. Oh, sweet. All right. Maybe a boss. Hopefully, I remember how to fight it. Oh crap! It's a dinosaur. Man. Oh, dude, he's down in the grasses. Like a oh, raptor. Man. Yeah. I mean, he's probably <laughs> gonna beat me. Dang, dude, he's going wild. Yeah, he's hard. Come on. I've almost got him. Oh, where's he gonna, where's he gonna do it? No! He spit venom on the ground. Alright, let's see where it starts me at. We've got six lives, five lives left. Oh, sweet. Hopefully right at that five. Yeah. Convenient! Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go, there we go. Oh, get up, get up! There we go, there we go. Oh, I'm beating him by a little bit. Come on. Almost got him. No! There we go, there we go. Oh, one more good hit. No, no! I got him. Oh! Oh, 
was close. Yeah, that was a close one. But look, there's some TVs there, so I bet we're about to <laughs> see something on the TV. <laughs> also, we meet the stage. All right, here it is. This is definitely it. This is definitely it. Here we go. <laughs> My favorite cutscene ever. <laughs> the music. It's so good. It's like an 80s music. No, she's gone. Oh, that's what, that, I haven't seen any cutscenes past that because I've never beaten stage five that's or hilarious. stage four. So but, I love the '80s music and everything. I think we got to do a night where I just try to beat this game. You know, like I spend all day if it takes it. We've got to beat it. Like I, I'm not gonna do it tonight, but like I think I should practice. You know, and get real good and learn all the special moves and like. Really? This is a game worth mastering. Because it actually is a really fun game, too. Like, it's good. And it's weird because they're using that technology which usually makes, like, combat not smooth. You know what I'm talking about? Like, the Mortal Kombat effect? Yeah. But this one actually is really smooth. Great frame rate. Like, it Yeah, usually games that use that technology, they feel kind of clunky almost. And I didn't give this game a chance back then. I seen it in the stores all the time, but I was like, I looked at the back of the box and saw this. Still frames, and I was like, this is probably stupid. Man, I would have freaking loved it. I wish I would have known it was a good game back then. I'm actually surprised how good it actually looks. Yeah, man. This is a really good game. Like, it's really a crying out shame saying it's a re-release this. Like a remaster, or even screw it, you don't even need to remaster, it looks fine. Like, by the way, it looks okay on the stream, but it looks way better on your real screen. And then if you play on CRT, like I do on my real Sega Saturn now, it looks yeah. really good. Like, it is sharp. Good game, though. Anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna call it there. Um, this is amazing. Yeah, dude, that is... That is like, I feel like that's like maybe the best... What did they call that when they would do real videos for uh, cutscenes? No, there is a term for it, though. Real time? No. There is a term for it. I feel like it's one of the better ones. FMV. That is what they... Full motion video. That is what they called it. FMV. I think yeah. that might be one of the better ones. Another game that has a good one that actually I'm pretty sure was on PlayStation 2. I played on Sega Saturn. was a game called Solar Eclipse. And it had a lady that I knew from a show I liked. The one of the actors was oh, from, really? like, Star Trek or something. I can't remember. And it was, like, kind of cheesy, but it was good. It was, like, the good kind of cheesy. You know, where you kind of could get into it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it, yeah. And it was, a sh like, a Star Fox-type game shooter where it's, you know, you're moving forward. You know what I'm saying? Um, a rail shooter. With yeah. a ship where you're controlling where the ship actually is. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It was called Solar Eclipse. There was two of them, and the other one was called Something Else Eclipse, and it was okay, but Solar Eclipse was uh, the sequel, and it was awesome. I used to play it all the time. I never got to beat it when I was a kid, though, because my disc was scratched, and so I could only get so far in the game, and then the game would crash. 
so I never got it to beat it. It reminds me of, uh, what was that one game called? Uh, Wing Commander? Wing Commander, yeah. Like yeah, yeah, it is a little bit like that. But a little more arcadey, you know? Yeah, yeah. All right, well, guys, thanks for coming out for another retro night. Uh, we'll get back to you. Me and Steve are trying to work together so we can do some two-player games. I think that'd be super fun. Um, yeah, that would be cool if we can figure that out. Yeah, we could, like, there's a lot of cool games we could do and do another two-player night like I did with Mujin that one time. Uh, it can be done on this software. We just got to figure out how to connect each other and, um, uh, you know, for Steve to get all the games. You know what I mean? So that no matter what yeah. somebody does, he, he would have it too. I mean, worst case scenario, though, these games, if we're going with the old school stuff, like NES Super Nintendo, if Steve has a website he knows to go, just to be honest, he could download it on the fly. You know what I mean? Yeah. If we needed to. Um, but thanks, everybody, for coming out. Appreciate all the support. Uh, let's see. Tomorrow I'm doing a probably an hour and a half, two-hour stream um, at uh, – we'll do that when it's 6 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to show off the um, – create a character in um, Dragon's Dogma 2. Uh, so we're going to make our characters and play around with the character creator a little bit for a short little stream for Sunday. And I'll be back to all my normal stuff starting on Monday. Um, thanks, everybody. Everybody have a great night. Say goodbye, Steve. See y'all.